The thoughts, views, and opinions expressed by this podcast as well as its hosts are for entertainment purposes only. I repeat, it is not serious. It is not real. No one is exposing, revealing, indicting, or telling you anything about themselves. Also, we do not encourage you to try this at home. We are trained professionals who do not have your best interest at heart or our own. <laughs> Enjoy the show. I, I'm be quiet though. You, no you had a do rag. You had a do rag on. Yes. You had like a slot. Like you had a shape up. Like you had like a a line going. You got a part. Yeah. yeah, you do got a, a side part. part. Yeah. You got a side part. Yeah, you got a part. I thought you did it on purpose. <laughs> you got busting in the head. What? Whoa. No, for real. No, I'm saying, is that a mark or that's or that's? I don't even know is what you're it? talking. Okay. Right. Where is it? Are we recording? Of course we are. <laughs> it looks like you have a part on the side of your head. It's a tattoo. <laughs> gotcha. That's why he asked. Don't talk that to Dan. I'll start. Gotcha. I'm not starting. I'm in it. No, no. I'll ask Ish. Was it a tattoo on the side of his head? Don't start that thing. <laughs> I just, I, I just asked my man a question. No, no boy shit. You throw shots. Stop. I don't throw shots. All right. I'm not a bartender. Mm. Huh? Debatable. That was a bar. You know. So ours ain't the only one. Mmm. Yo, can you not look at my computer? This shit be lit. I, I learned a lot from this. <laughs> <laughs> What'd you say? I stole your Patreon titles and all that. <laughs> yeah. Yo, I hear you on your on your on your network. So I'm like, tomorrow, 8 p.m. on Patreon. I'm dropping yeah, that. I know. Yo, you gotta stop, yo. Not so. You gotta stop. That's marketing, man. Thank I you. might I might need an advance from you. I ain't gonna lie. <laughs> I might need an advance. Your Patreon is lit. Mm. What that mean? We need an advance. All right, we'll talk. Speak French. Yeah, word. Like, what? We, we. We. Oh, oh y'all turn on me. <laughs> I'm with you. Ooh, high on the you been watching bowling highlights? <laughs> there we go. That's Mic it, check. That's one, right two, there. one, two, one, two. That's it. Energy right. The vibes is right. right the up. mood is right. Wake it up out there. Lick a shot for Big Pop in heaven. Let me get these drops out the way real quick. Enough of that, You've never heard of Joe Budden? All right, microphone check one, two, what is this? Welcome to the best pod in the whole world. This is episode 598. 599, man. 599. Knocking on six door. 599 of the best podcast in the world. I'm your humble, gracious, grateful, and highly favored host, Joe Budden. Here with a few of my nearest and dearest. Flip is here. Ish is here. Ice is here. Uh, Parks is here. Poe is here. Corey is here. JR is here. Erickson is here. Ian is here. Keeb is here. Gang. Tanner is here by Whole remote. Shout out to the remote gang. Gang, gang. Gentlemen, how are y'all doing? How are you feeling? What's feeling the vibes? Great, Talk man. to me. Talk to me. Man, that intro got me feeling great, bro. Word. And it's just crazy. I just checked. It's damn near 20 years to the day that that album dropped. Mm. It's like three days away from 20 oh, wow. years. Mm. And that wow. shit still feel like that. Damn. No, Word. it feels great. <laughs> it's crazy. 20 years, bro. Damn, Prime sure. Fifth was different. It's a long time. Old I could start yeah. the pod with 50 every week, Jay Z every week, <laughs> Drake every week. Like, I really don't be wanting to play these other niggas. I really don't. <laughs> <laughs> I want to play the shit that I was outside for and I seen it impact things. Mm -hmm. That's what I want to start with. Hopefully, everybody's feeling good. Shout out to the listeners out there. Shout out to the Patronis. Uh, sign up for Patreon. Exclusive content there. You know the vibes. Shout out to the Reddit niggas. Salute, salute, salute. Who else? Shout out to the ladies. Shout out to the happy relationships out there listening. Valentine's Day is creeping up, creeping up, creeping it's up, creeping up. Yeah, yeah. Don't you forget. No, no. Don't you forget. Now, well, Ish don't celebrate Valentine's Day. Oh, yeah, True. yeah, that's right. He just bought flowers three, three times, three times a month. Three times a month. month. Yeah. <laughs> Good fucking doof. Salute. This nigga be lying on the spot. <laughs> anyway. You know how you know this nigga be lying? See, when I leave the pod, I go think about you niggas' lies. <laughs> you niggas? Yeah, all you. Oh. All you. How big is his house? <laughs> I've never seen his house. He's been, he been with his girl for a little while. Yeah. Flowers die. There'll be flowers all over that house. Flowers die. Flowers. What? Stop. Don't play with my man like that. I'll violate you. Flowers, flowers die, die nigga. Stop. He's not buying Stop. the shits that... He ain't buying them the flowers that die, idiot. He's not buying the 365. He ain't though. buying flowers that die. Stop yes, playing with it. That's no, why he's buying not. them three times a month. He no, he's not. He's not buying other shit. He's not buying... He's he not buying them shits that you buy? Yeah, he's not buying the year the last flowers. You buy flowers that die? That's a fact. <laughs> yeah. 
Stop playing my man like you don't know he bought flowers that died. I he, didn't think he, I thought he elevated. Get away! <laughs> Ooh, I, thought, I thought he elevated a little my bit. Bad. Oh, no wonder you're doing that. Oh, all right. <laughs> my, my bad, never mind. <laughs> if they die, you got plenty of room. Drago. I buy my girl hold flowers, up. them flowers all the time, and ain't no more room for flowers. I can't buy no more hold flowers. Up, hold up. So, wait. It's, just, it's, it's buying flowers that die is like some broke shit now? Nah, he just Did saying. they come out with flowers that don't die? Yes. Yeah. That make your house smell great all year round, sometimes a year and a half? Well, okay, what's the point? So You didn't answer me. You said yes, okay. Yes, yes. Okay, so I wouldn't think that my man, who's been a New Jersey real estate guru since <laughs> I've known him, would still be buying his wife. I know he loves his girl. Yeah. I didn't think he would still be buying her flowers that die. Yeah, but if you bought the one of box of flowers and them oh, shit wait, just wait, sit wait, there. Oh, wait, 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 wait. I'm sorry. On, hold on. You bought a one box of flowers and them shit just sit there where you can switch them up. You can same get different. Same color, same area. Yeah, it's just the same shit. Not if they die. No, I'm talking about, no, if they die, you switch up. The one box that you don't die, it just, die? no, you yeah, buy you different, buy different colors. Different it ain't just color. one type of flower. That's poor. You're doing good. You're doing good. Nah, good. that shit actually, you, you buy them, you put that's them in the freezer? lazy way. That's the lazy you way. You put them in the freezer? Uh, what? Are you freezing them? This nigga is wild. Stop. Right, forget it. Death, Never mind. Never mind. Flowers. Speaking of freeze, how's, how's freeze doing? How you doing? You all right? I'm great. Freeze. Good, I'm good, great. good, great. good. are you freezing the flowers? I had a funny interaction this morning. I'm in the elevator going down to the garage, and um, this lady Older lady. Stunt on him. That's right. not a stunt. Yeah. Stunt it on That's him. That's definitely now. not a stunt. We don't go elevators about to, say, to our garage. Yeah, word. I thought he was about to say, I, I went to my parking you, spot. You, you right. go down to the garage when you... No, I don't. Okay, correct. I don't live here. <laughs> I don't live here. I don't right. live here. Okay, salute. <laughs> Thank you. But um, it's an older lady on there, so she looking at me. She goes, you look like... And I'm thinking she's going to say somebody living in a building or something. She's like, you look like ice. Oh, shit. And I laugh. Like, then she saw my chain. She's like... Yo, I listen to you all the time. I'm like, I'm on the phone with my mother. I'm like, my mom starts laughing. Like, this lady had a cane, no disrespect, but I was just, I would not expect her to be listening to us. I'm like, yo, we be on here cursing, talking reckless. I felt bad. Like, damn, please don't listen to me. <laughs> but how old should you think? My mom's or a little bit older than like, like how old's your mom? Tell everybody mom, so she can get mad at you. My mother's not gonna get mad. My mom my mom is uh 58. Oh, for real? Mm -hmm. Love's young as hell. Oh, damn. Oh, shit. Oh, man, young. Yeah. But yeah, it just... it. Oh, you was a late decision in life. <laughs> no, I wasn't. Early decision. What are you talking about? <laughs> oh, yeah, because she's young. Early decision. <laughs> <laughs> Carry the one, nigga. Yeah, yeah, I forgot. I forgot. I forgot. I forgot. I forgot. I forgot. I'm done. <laughs> like Jersey City math right there. <laughs> <laughs> uh, all right. Uh, yeah. Mel is not here with us still because Mel is moving. moving. Cross country. No, Mel is moving. I know. I'm playing. She's a little more committed than the rest of you. She's moving. That's tough. None of us went to help. <laughs> Yo. She didn't we, ask. We, we just looking at her pull, <laughs> tape up boxes, all types of shit. We like, hey, hurry back. <laughs> <laughs> Miss you. <laughs> so did you get the autograph? No, no. She didn't ask for Take a that. picture? No. It was just it was just a wild, like I would have never expected her to know. This podcast, it just really like even if people say like, "Oh, my kid, listen." Don't disrespect this podcast. No, it's not. It's 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 really was an nice. underestimation on my end. Like I did not expect that. Like I thought, I've had people say, "Yo, my kid, you know, my my son listened to you." Mm. She was like, "Oh my god, I watch y'all all the time. I watch you all the time." And I was just like, "Shout out to her. She's listening. Yeah, now. shout out to her. No, shout she out to I, I love Lucy. Shout out to. Her. Look, didn't say her name or nothing. I don't know her name. Shout out to the old lady on the elevator. Wow, yeah. I'm not calling her old lady, but oh, okay. But you, you just. It's just it just literally it, it surprised me. That's the all. demo is wide, man. What Very, you yeah, that's really what it is. So, so that's it. Yeah, CP, feeling yourself, huh? Feeling yeah, let's talk all. about it. I'm Grammy. chilling, man. Ah, <laughs> I'm chilling. You're talking a lot. It. Ever since the fans joined your side, you've been talking a lot, a lot crazy. How you feel? You feel good? I feel good, man. Slow down now, but German engineering, you know, sometimes you guys go overboard, but you looking good. <laughs> <laughs> Don't overstep your back. I didn't even think Parks would still be here today. I thought he would be in LA. I'm getting the weirdo calls and texts and DMs already. I hate them all. What happened? You know the fucking ones. Yo, you in LA? You out here? Yo, you out here? Yo, you in LA for Grammys? Yo, I got here. I got this event popping tonight. Yeah. No. <laughs> no. I got those, and I'm not even cool with the people sending them to me. 
What's her name? I keep telling her, it's no, I'm not, you trying to make this about women. Maybe that's in your life. For me, I've spent over 20 <laughs> years in this business. <laughs> a lot of relationships, <laughs> a lot of people looking for me. Quick, too. You know cool I mean? as a fan. So, right yeah, I can't, I, can't, I can't play with him. He's a human. I can't play with him. He had that little car ready. He reversed. No, he was right there. He's first, too. No, I told him niggas. He draw four. He's the human Uno. Go ahead, Uno. Anyway. That's your new name, Uno. I, I just named you. You've named everyone. Yeah, I did. I did. Yeah, you, like, you like Dirk with that. Yeah. Handed Shout out the Dirk. Speaking of names. <laughs> mm. <laughs> What's up? Today I learned about some of the names you have tattooed on you. Sure. One day we need to do an episode about just men with horrible tattoos. But okay. we but until we do, this will we'll suffice. start right here. No, no, yeah, let's just, start right yeah, here. It's pretty good right here. Sure. Tell the audience about some of the tattoos you got on your body. Um, you just posed shirtless out there, so we were able in, to really in, see. In 20 degree weather. 20 I have, degree um, weather. I have, cloud uh, chasing. You know. What? This nigga whole life is cloud chasing. Anyway. You got Paul Newman. I was talking about You got Paul Newman on one, <laughs> one titty. No, I have, um, I have Cary Grant and uh, uh, a Fair to Remember, that movie. I have my man, not my man, I got James Stewart here. It's a Wonderful Life. How old are you? I have, I don't know. I have, I have anime, I have One Piece, Luffy. What's the name of the dude that used to do the Daily Show? Not Noah. John Stewart? John Stewart? Yeah, John Stewart. You got John Stewart on no, your body. No, I don't body. have John Stewart. <laughs> Paul Stewart. I got Stewart. I'm Bitch on my arm. It was a prank that was played. And I got some other shit here. You got a Please. prank tattoo? About, wait, we're not yeah. just going. It was a, how's that a prank? It's just a prank. You were asleep? You, you lost. That you, it was you put skit. on your body permanently. Yeah, you yeah. lost, nigga. You have you lost the, prank. the words, I'm Bitch, written on your I arm. I do. And you made an acronym for them. Oh, yeah. Here we go. And you know what's funny? I feel like some type of psychic because I've been new before I even seen that that you was bitch. Before I even seen that. All right, let me see what it says here. Yo, it says, I'm bitch. Can I see? Yo, you just be raw dog in the hoodie? Can I see what it says? Yo, Wait, word. yo, hold on. I'm, he got an acronym. Can I see it? I'm, can I yo, read the another, acronym, please? need another advance, yo. yo for he real. won't let me read it. No, give yo, him an advance. Yo, bro. stop. Stop playing with me. If I, uh, Tell the audience yeah. why why you have <laughs> I'm bitch. This can I read it? I'm making big ideas that can help. <laughs> yo. <laughs> wait, your wait, tattoo wait. artist was just wait, stealing wait, money, wait, yo. Wait, 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 wait. Well, your tattoo artist, yo. I'm bitch means I'm making big, like that, big ideas that can help. That's what it means. That's what it means. I'm gonna help you. How long you had that? You you are helping me. I can't front on it. Nah, 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 you I get see what it means. I see got, what it means. You got the scribble scrabble on your arm. Stop it. My tattoos are better than yours, but at the same time, like yeah. Well, I you got, got all the Alfred Hitchcock actors on your chest. So this right here, my, this right here is James Stewart. Like I said, who is James? We don't. It's know a wonderful him. life. It's right? a wonderful what life. Yeah. It's, it's a wonderful movie. life. The this old, from, what's this that? It's an old classic. This is like the first Star Trek. Yo, let me just talk, nigga. Don't don't describe my tattoos. At the end of the day. When I was going through a lot, these movies helped me get through a hard time in my life. So that's why I tattooed them. The only tattoo I regret is James Stewart because when I Googled it, I found out that he was racist. So my mm. daughter made a joke when she read it and said, you got white people on your chest. <laughs> Carrie Grant is Not cool. even good whites. Huh? Not even good whites. Carrie Grant racist too? I don't know. <laughs> Not she, was, that. she was from the 50s, right? Yes. Carrie Grant fire. <laughs> Carrie Grant fire. Watch out my You should have won John Stewart. You look ish. Yeah. Yeah. I thought Ish would have had John Stewart tattooed on him. Now let my man get, 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 get your shit off. Go ahead. <laughs> my bad. Or Martha. My bad. Oh yeah, this right here is one piece. This is anime, one piece. Luffy, 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 Luffy. Go up higher. Is your tattoo artist still alive? <laughs> I want to yeah, interview his tattoo artist. This from he moved. <laughs> he was just stealing money. The, the real nigga from the hood ran him out of there. This what? from Scorch, from, a nigga from Philly. No, you scorched. <laughs> you scorched. <laughs> you burnt up. It's not from Scorch. What I'm going to ask you What's is, up, bro? we had a conversation, a little deep conversation yeah, about sure. a week and some change ago, where race came into the picture. Of course. Mm. And, and you almost oh. tried oh. to... Oven on? Yeah, smell it. Incinerate me. It's about having a white <laughs> significant other. That wasn't my goal, but yeah, I did, you know, yeah. And you told me you can't possibly stand for the blacks if you are laying down with a white. From a woman's perspective, that's a fan in the comments. I was speaking for the comments. I am the comment dweller. Go ahead. You told me. <laughs> nah. Nah. No, 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 no. That's a cop out. That's a cop out. That's what happened. Nah. You told me that. I'm the that comment dweller. I am. I am. Oh, bring him some please. Grab him some please from out of there, please. 
Yo, give him a couple. What's up? What's up? What's, what's up? I, I would love to finish. What's speaking. up? What's up? I, 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 hurry up! I, I, hurry up! I don't rush you when you are right. articulating. You told me I can. Nah, nah, nah. Hold on, hold on. Stop doing that. There you go again. <laughs> you thinking you're the smartest in the room because you know I take time articulating. Don't do no slick, passive aggressive jokes or I'm I, on you. Shape I don't up. even know what he's talking about. Right. <laughs> can he finish? Let him finish. Thank you. You told me you can't possibly stand for blacks if you land with whites. I want to know how the fuck that. you standing for blacks. You got the whites tattooed on your body. The racist whites. You go to sleep with them every night, <laughs> Carrie Grant. True. True. Shower with them Audrey in the dark. Hepburn. What True. the fuck? White with <laughs> Audrey Hepburn's on there too. She's oh, on there. I know she is. Very good. Very good. But I she have nothing to say. Audrey yes. Hepburn on there. That's the yes. woman. Look. Wow. On his heart though. <laughs> you got the white lady her. on your heart. I, I got do. him in my heart. You I got do. him on your heart. I do. And you tried to roast me. I did. All right. Get Fred Astaire next. Ginger Rogers. <laughs> nah, 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 nah. No. I'm, about to, I'm about to cover. And you no, play no. Frank Sinatra every week. No I one. Do. See, now it's coming. Uh, it's I all do. coming full circle. It don't, is. Don't get Fred. You are already getting Joe to stare. <laughs> no. So I'm, I'm going to cover Joe. Joe, Joe stare. Joe already. to stare. Don't get Fred Astaire. You look. Now, and you got this little Mexican something on your You got a Chinese, arm. Asian, Mexican on no, your no, arm. No, it's not. It's, but this is an right, anime. We got to start up on This is an anime. Yeah. This is you got an anime fortune character. cookie lady on he your got arm. everything on his arm but somebody black <laughs> word I mean a black creation it's fine it's black history month you don't see the symbol round of applause for black the symbol history on month the other oh arm. shit you got a pentagram on your arm yeah you don't see the symbol on the other arm what is, no. I don't know what that means I'm I done did. looking at his you body don't know what it means no. but you got it on your body I did alright uh, moving right along moving right along where would you gentlemen like to start today I don't know anything about music that came out so don't ask me about it I don't think anything really came up particularly uh, Last yeah, week, we didn't get into the Smokey Robinson track list. Oh, man. I saw the cover. Oh, man. But did you see the track list? I saw it. I didn't see the track the list. The album's called Gasm, is it not? It is. <laughs> the first track. Gang banging. The first Yo, track is called Gasm. He's stepping it up. Yeah. Uh, Somebody pull up the track list, please, so we can you. read it to the audience, because Smokey, Smokey, Smokey. Yeah. Smokey, Smokey. You think Smokey's still ain't pulling them, man? I'm oh, sure no, he is. Smokey is Smokey still. Yeah. Smokey getting them. But right, these so old got, niggas in these it. albums, send it to me. Oh, okay. <laughs> send, send it to me. I I, I want to read it. I want to <laughs> read it. I, I had a blast It's reading funny. This, especially oh, the last two. I didn't see it. It's funny. Well, I'm explaining to you. Okay, Smokey right, Robinson cool. has a new album out. It is called Gas. No, it's coming out. It's not a release Oh, yet. it's not out yet. There's a single out if we don't have each other, which is the, probably the nicest, well, the most non-horny um it's all the title, title. Of the album. All right, here we go. Track one, Gasms, which is the album title. Got it. Track two, How You Make Me Feel. Okay. I see mm -hmm. where he's going. Track mm -hmm. three, I Know Your Body. Okay, mm -hmm. you might know a body. Uh, it's going to get a little R. Kelly here now. Mm -hmm. I Know Your Body. Track four, I Keep Calling You. Okay. You that know body that. was good. Stalkerish. Yeah, yeah, was good. <laughs> and, and you're not answering the phone. And so the gas is talking back. I need more That gasms. is why he keep calling. Yeah. The body yeah. must have been good. body must have been good. Yeah. Track I'm five, I'm roll rolling. around. Mm. Yeah, that's why I'm calling you. I'm trying to roll around. Yeah. Mm. yeah. He's taking He's trying to roll around the block to, to get back because she's not answering no, the phone. No, 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 no. Track six roll around in the sheets. Missionary. is beside you. Okay. In okay, case so you didn't know where I wanted to, where roll, I wanted around. to roll around. Yeah, I, I want to roll around beside you. This is like a gasm. The spoon. Track seven. If we don't have each other, I can't roll around. That's they, true. That's or, true. Orgasm. I can't or roll. I can't get a gasm. I can't roll around next to you if we don't have each other at all. He's killing so far. Track eight. Last two. These are my favorites. Mm -hmm. You fill me up. Mm -hmm. <laughs> hey, what? <laughs> Corey hey, Rooney. You fill me up. Corey got, Rooney. We got to talk to that's you. That's what my man this said in P Valley, right? Yo. <laughs> don't do that, Dice Show. <laughs> that Dice Show. Ice Tebow. That part. Hey, <laughs> what's that shit called? Uh, <laughs> on the gram? You made a boomerang? You made a boomerang? <laughs> what's that shit called? Yeah. A boomerang. <laughs> and last uh, but not least, track number nine, mm -hmm. I Fit In There. Hey. <laughs> he knows it's Smokey giving out some little meat energy, yo. All that shit he talking about. <laughs> Or he been around the block for 50 straight, 60 straight years, taking him down. Oh, he's definitely been. Why is he so horny right now? Why is Smokey so horny? He shouldn't be that horny right now. He got some some new new Viagras out there. <laughs> Why you get the tracks for, for, the, for the album? They're not they out, out yet. yet. Oh, got it. Baby, let's cruise. Diana spun that nigga. Killed him. <laughs> 
<laughs> How you wrote this and let Diana spin you like that? She did it like the nigga did it. I ain't gonna say it. My fault, Swiss. Yo. <laughs> I want to hear what I fit in there sounds like. Yeah. Why? Because that is a creative album. I mean, song title. I fit in there. I want to hear the concept. I want to hear where he's going with that. Got it. From a musician like, you know, you, you can fit in there, right? A baby comes out of there. True. <laughs> True. He seemed like he was surprised. Oh, shit. Kid. All of y'all got kids except for Parks. Was it weird fucking again after you seen your kid come out of there? Nope. No. Nah. No. No. All right. Anyway. <laughs> what is he talking about? Did y'all wait the six to eight weeks? Yes. Yes. No. <laughs> Loser. <laughs> Not me. They waited. I knew Ice would wait six to eight weeks, but you. You. What's wrong with you, yo? What fuck you waiting for? He's lying. You ate it too. <laughs> freak, nigga. You a freak. <laughs> Look at me in the eye. You ate it the day after. Yeah, come on, yo. I love you. I want to show you I love yeah, you. Yeah, yeah, that's, that's a little, cool. little ketchup on the pussy. Yeah. We need Mel back. Put a little ketchup on that Mel, pussy. Mel, come back. Mel, please yeah. come back. Please, please, please come, back, come back. Look what you got us doing. Yo, Watch shout out to Smokey Jesus. Robinson. Legend, uh, man. Legend. Hey, at least yeah, he ain't yeah, go Brian so. McKnight on him. You know, Brian McKnight put the record out. I'll show you how your pussy work. And that was the name of the song. Right now, Smokey Robinson is touring. Corey Rooney is, I guess he's his manager or something. Brian McKnight needed to call his first family. Yeah. <laughs> I said that the first time. <laughs> One of them niggas retweeted me. <laughs> <laughs> One of them niggas clipped the podcast was like, yeah, he, Yo, do, facts. he do need to call us. <laughs> oh, shit. Oh, shit, Joe. Yo, if I got a new family, I like better. I'm not calling my first family either. Yo. I ain't going to lie to you. <laughs> Some of these kids, when they come out and get their own personality, it's like, you don't want to be around that. <laughs> <laughs> nigga said the kid had bad vibes. Yeah, man. man. That's what nigga said. Hey, get away from them bad vibe kids. Uh -oh. <laughs> Anyways, what do y'all want to talk about? Anything in the world. The floor is ours without Mel. Come on, let's be fucking male chauvinist. Chinese spy balloon. Let's get into it. Okay, fuck All it. Right. I don't like that. If Donald Trump was president, he would have went live from the lawn and shot that balloon down. We got him. He'd have shot that shit himself. He would have, he would have had that shit that, that what's his name, son had, El Chapo's son had, the anti-aircraft. He would have went live from the lawn. America, we got him. We got him. Chinese spy balloon. Then he would have sold that shit to Hulu and Netflix. Yo, look how I shot that shit out. Yo, whole, whole Senate, whole House of Senate, they told me not to, but I'm me. I'm Trump. I did that. Explain to me what's going on, because right, I have so no there, idea. There, there's, a, there's a balloon, I believe it's over Montana right now, just been flying, <clears throat> excuse me, flying across the country. And they've identified it, and they say they believe it belongs to the People's Republic of China. But they've instructed the president not to order it shot down. They're talking about because they believe the debris could hurt civilians, which tells me they think it's something in that shit, and if they shoot it down, it's going to fuck some people up. So why, you don't just why would they want to shoot down a balloon, though? Balloons are beautiful. It's a spy balloon from China but flying over us. Who knows that it's a spy balloon? Oh. Now, listen, I'm getting all my information from y'all, not CNN. Right. Mm. Well, China said that it's a weather balloon. They have, you know, copped out and said it's a weather balloon, but I don't believe See? it. See? Why do they need no our weather? Why you want to know our weather? Because <laughs> y'all fucked the weather up over here. So we want to bring the weather balloon back to make sure that don't happen over here. Yo, Ice. What? Why they don't call Batman? Remember Batman 1 Batman where he go, took the balloon took, took and, the little, yeah, I mean, it's yeah. a fact. Good shit. Yeah. Snipped yeah. it up. Yeah. yeah. Right there. Good How right do we know that this is supposed to, why do they think it's a weather balloon? Fam, my thing is they have enough technology to go up there and get the fucking balloon down if they want it down. Batman. I think they're afraid of the fucking balloon because they don't know what's in it. You don't got to bust it. Even if you bring it down, they can detonate it or some shit. Sure. Look how big this balloon is, Lord. <laughs> Look at this balloon. Let me see. We got him. The latest on the suspected Chinese spy balloon over the U.S. Oh, and they made it look like the moon. <laughs> oh, shit. Oh, wait. Why the, oh, those guys are slick. The balloon look like the moon. Yeah. Yeah, nigga. They're not playing. Oh, we got two moons. <laughs> the first moon wasn't real. No, mind. But no, no, seriously, <laughs> seriously. Let's not make a joke for a minute. All right. Somebody tell me why China might need to spy on us and we are the stupid ones. That's to show how smart they are. That we've been, they've probably been spying on us. They spying on us through TikTok. That's a fact. Yeah. Which is why they sent it. And, and they got y'all kids signed to TikTok records too. All they're, they're actually addicted. The Senate just, just like uh, Jewel. Uh, Senator just introduced some shit. They're trying to get TikTok literally banned in the United States because Chinese um, 
the company that owns it have like back door. They can just re get all your data, just sign right in, see everything that's going on. They they can literally spy on all of Americans with TikTok. Oh please, they got my family way before that with Baby Shark. <laughs> yeah, but this is an app that you downloading on your shit that is now where all everybody's lives is on their phone. So if if TikTok got some bullshit in it that gives them access to all your, your information, bank account, your stock account, and they can sit right there account. and access all your shit. Now mm-hmm. with the iPhones, you got the health app. You can put all your health information in there. Oh, all nice. this, shit. you're absolutely right. Yeah. I think in they running ten, shit up in on ten to fifteen years, all of us will be Usain Bolt. We're gonna wake up one day, and your and money will be drained from your account. Mm-hmm. You'll go. We'll all go look to fire Ian or whoever's handling things, <laughs> but the money will be gone. They mm-hmm. working on you. Usain Bolt told me I fired the guy that I don't understand that one. I fired the guy that is responsible for losing my thirteen million. No, <laughs> I have an employee for life. <laughs> I didn't fire anybody. Fire. You gonna stick right beside me, young man, until uh-huh. we get this together. Y'all True. seen it? Y'all I'm seen not it? firing you. Y'all seen it too deep, right? I'm going to fire at him. Yeah. You <laughs> talk about you it. You tied up in the basement, and we're going to find out what happened. We're going to play some pool with that ass. Nah, come on. We're going to play some pool. Stop. <laughs> next, that's what they did See, in Into I Deep. Know, but not next to me, bro. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> A nigga with these bad tattoos shouldn't sit next to me either. You my man. Your tattoos is worse. No, they're not. No, they're not. The ones on your back. On Patreon, we'll talk about All it. All right, but, send them on. No. Um, the Pentagon said that the balloon violates U.S. airspace and is unacceptable. So mm-hmm. Yeah, this shit has flown over like <laughs> secure areas. They just gave him a harsh talking like to. <laughs> like, so, do something about it. Yeah. Trump went that scared. scared. You know that, right? Uh, he niggas' houses would have fell on the projects. He would have built the new projects. Word, 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 called the Trump Towers 4. He Yo, Trump would have said, Yo, wait till it get over. I don't want to say nobody city because they're going to be shooting at me in the DMs. <laughs> wait till it get over there. Yo, black people, I'm telling y'all out there. We just be scared for nothing. If we all band together, we could get our reparations. I done seen white people now be scared of party city balloons from China. Uh, the insurrection. They ain't do nothing about dumb little hillbilly niggas. <laughs> oh, <laughs> Yo, shit. If we get together, we could probably make a little run for it. We could have two Black History Months. <laughs> we could take another month. I'm with you. I'm with you. A 31-day joint. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You could come too, but you got to get the tattoos off you. <laughs> yeah, I'm about get, to... get Paul Stewart, Martha Stewart, <laughs> yeah, John Stewart, up, like I'm about to, I'm about to, Rod Stewart. Yeah, I'm about to put Cindy, Cindy why you got Rod Stewart tattoo? I don't. All right. Anyway, all right. So the Chinese are spying on us. That's important. All over the place. Uh, yeah. And we're allowing them to. We just, yeah, we keep it's, 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 it's unacceptable. It's unacceptable. We, we sign yeah. up and just let them do it. <laughs> Harsh talking to. What they doing in Montana though? <laughs> Who no, knows? That's just where it's at. You was just there. Tell us. I know. I can't say the first thought that came to my head. It ain't but a. Not so populated over there. That might be the, that's that might be the reason. Be the reason. Yeah, a lot of people in China. Be, could be some shit over there. Exactly. That they, we know it ain't populated, so we hiding this there. They say, fuck moving to Mars or the moon or whatever. We're just going to come over here. Or set up some warehouses. All right. Well, we'll keep an eye on this. <laughs> <laughs> that's what we're doing literally. literally. They, they keep an eye on us anyway. So. Right. We watching them watch us. Yeah. That's all they doing? They ain't gonna watch me. I ain't doing shit. I'm in the house. <laughs> they ain't gonna learn no central intelligence shit from my crib. I'm in there scratching my ass, my balls. They would be like, look at this stupid ass nigga. <laughs> so, so it's some more bullshit news. Um, this actually happened last year, but they voted to make daylight savings time permanent. So time not gonna jump back and forth no more as yeah. of November this year. Oh, we lit? It's just gonna stay. Oh, uh, it's... <laughs> I know, I know. I like that though. I know, bro. It's some bullshit, but I like it. That is well, some, that'll that'll supreme. throw shine off. <laughs> <laughs> that is some, some supreme bullshit right there, bro. Yeah, which way is it gonna stay? Yeah, China. You have, our, you have our data, but what time was it when so you got it? Uh, <laughs> so basically when you know like um I think it's the spring when we when we jump ahead for the hour, we're never gonna jump back. I love it. Um, this is how they get us with the distractions. Hey, while y'all worry about the, these <laughs> eggs, <laughs> we got some other shit coming. Mm-hmm. Yeah, prices is up, but we'll give you that extra hour of daylight. So nah. have a blast. Bullshit. You mentioned yeah. eggs. Hold up. I-, I sent it to y'all. There was a flyer. There's a brunch party. And you know, what do you eat at brunch? I'm looking girls. <laughs> <laughs> That is true. Bro. If they got the right girls, then yeah. I'm not going there for eggs. But, <laughs> yo, y'all different go, kind of eggs. Y'all got to brunch for brunch. 
<laughs> over the bitches. So sorry. <laughs> oh. If you if you bring a carton of eggs, you get a free mimosa. Just one. <laughs> Somebody That's a rip off Where is this in Jersey? No, no nigga No Yo, it's watch not your actually <laughs> Watch your mouth It's actually in Brooklyn You got Ross <laughs> your, home, your hometown It's not in Queens Not no, from Queens No no Your hometown I'm from Queens said. Queens, Brooklyn the BQE Wherever you live <laughs> That shit is in Jersey You, you got, got, got some bullshit That's some bullshit son. Yo bring us a carton of eggs You know how much you know how high eggs is It's high Yo yeah, that's so <laughs> why, why Brown why? eggs too Why do I judge people For going to brunch parties And eating brunch <laughs> Need something to soak up all that liquor. Why are you even there in time to get the brunch? This lonely shit you talking about. You lonely, nigga. <laughs> yeah. you lonely, my nigga. Like get that. Do, do I'm much lonely right. for not eating the brunch. At I'm brunch saying, party. like, move your girl to, to Jersey so you can live happy. Don't talk about my girl in, in a positive way. Don't ever talk about my girl. <laughs> you talking no about my wife? You talking about in my no wife? No way. Move your wife. Move your girl to Jersey so you can be you happy. Say it louder and violate. Yeah. Right. <laughs> wow. All right. He said he was on you. Pause from earlier. Said you the ops. Fuck flip. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, I'm in a real cool, peaceful vibe. Can nobody knock my vibe? Can, Can nobody hold me down? Oh no. Yeah, I, I got the you know the word. Uh all right, so they're spying on us. You yeah. get a mimosa with some eggs. What else? What else is important here? <laughs> That's about it. That's about it, man. I show up niggas in the line with eggs. <laughs> Can you everybody in the line like that? Do you think people are going to really do that, though, for, for free? Absolutely. Some of your people? Yeah, yes. Sure. Yes. Yeah, you want to know what's funny? In y'all households, do y'all go to the supermarket? I do. I do. I don't mean, stop. Y'all answer too fast on the pod. I don't mean the guy version of going to the supermarket and getting the shit that you need to be a man in the world. I'm talking about when you go to the supermarket and have to, like, stock your own. <laughs> like, yeah. the real version of going. Yes. Yeah, nigga, yeah. I live alone. Outside of the time. That should take a long yeah. time if it you do. do. No, it does. Nigga, I, I be in front of the little egg it. section now for 15 minutes. <laughs> there's, there's a lot oh, of no, no, it's life decisions in front of that it's section. Mad yeah, yeah, yeah. eggs. You still eat white no, eggs, don't Brown, you? extra and large, jumbo. Which one's medium, bigger? Medium, the protein, uh, lactose. It's like, yo. <laughs> then it's the clear thing. Then it's the white styrofoam. Do I want? Did you did you convert to brown eggs fully? Brown eggs, white eggs. No, brown eggs. It ain't convert to nothing brown. <laughs> oh, it's still white eggs. <laughs> Why, Jimmy Stewart? Hey, hey, convert to something brown. To my world. She tapping, dancing on your chest. Yeah, it is. <laughs> don't call me till it's nine o'clock, ass nigga. Fuck out of here. I don't, I don't like I don't you. I don't know sir. what song he's singing. I don't know. He don't need from BT Uncut. You remember that song? <laughs> you got BT Uncut in your mental Rolodex? I do. <laughs> yes. I do. Yes, nigga. Because while you was out here trying to be a fake yes, gang member, yes, I was nigga. in the house watching BET Uncut. The same. I was never a gang member. But trying to be a fake. But you was a crip. I was. I got ran out. Whatever you want to say, oh, whatever okay. you call it, fakey. Now you a bulls. Fakey. No, he tried to do it too. They shot him out. They shot him right <laughs> they out the jumped crib. You, I heard you got jumped like mad times too. Chased. You got chased by Indians with him. Uh, easy. <laughs> We, we got him. Yo. Yo, watch him out, yo. <laughs> the Indians hit me up. I've never been chased. I didn't know Ish when them Indians. They, oh, they fuck with you? Where they at? Where they be at now? <laughs> Where they be at? What yo, you I'm going to pull up. Yo, you really got chased by some Indians? Yeah. Nah, I ain't get chased. Nigga, I stand and fight. I don't run nowhere. Did you they not won, get though. <laughs> <laughs> They? How many was they, yo? A lot, of them. A lot of them little niggas. <laughs> they was little. <laughs> you ever? Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> almost got me. <laughs> oh, 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 almost said it. I know what you're about to say. I still and, and no, I have Yeah, they were little. And no, I haven't either. <laughs> Yo, come on, man. Yo. This is Joe and Joe himself. Queen Flip does not stand by those comments. Shout out to my yeah. Indian brothers out there. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> <laughs> God yo, damn it, yo! <laughs> <laughs> no. Restored. We're back. Sheesh. Uncle we good Potter now. strikes again. 
Did you people see you people? <laughs> I saw it. You not you people. I, I, I don't know that. I'm yes, playing. He is. I'm, I, I'm playing. <laughs> by no, by no. their definition of you people, I don't know who you people is. Mm. Depends on who's talking. Analysis. Depends on who's talking. I'm going to try to not be angry black man. I ain't see it. I mean, I'm going to try to. It's, it's Black History Month. How you see the hoodie? Kenya Barris is yeah. one of my inspirations. So is Jonah Hill, actually. So, I mean, I want to try to and critique Eddie. this movie. And, and Eddie, of course. Mm -hmm. Well, old Eddie for me. Mm. Old Eddie for me. You've been on Eddie ass for a minute. I want to try to critique this movie respectfully, but honestly. So, Ish, you saw it? So, it's only Ice and Flippy didn't see it. All right, so I'll begin. <laughs> I laughed really, really hard for like the first 25 minutes of this film. I thought I was in for something. I stayed in on like a Thursday night, Wednesday night, ordered ordered in. It was like a date night for myself, made it a thing. Because mm. everybody told me it was great. Everybody told me it was great. And I, I hate when I fall victim to that. I saw one I, comment I, that said that. I only saw one comment on it, and it was not saying that it was great. I didn't hate it. Your comments don't seem to ever say anything is great. You got the positive timeline. I saw it, actually, actually, no, no, no. I actually read it on uh, on Reddit. I look, I was over there and, and the, the JBP read it, and they were they had a discussion about it, and it was like, bro, this shit is. They kind of trashed it, and I was just like, uh, I didn't want to read this. Well, you that. people, for the people, for you people out there that have no idea what this movie is about, spoilers. This is, this is about uh, Jonah Hill is marrying Lauren London, and their parents have to meet each other. And it's a culture shock for both sides. It's like about interracial dating and the family uh, dynamics. Dynamics, yeah, yeah. Kaka. <laughs> Why did you think it was Kaka? I think it was juvenile. I think it was poorly written. I think the the the. <clears throat> I think Jonah Hill is great. Same. I think um, the mom from Elaine. Elaine is great. Mm -hmm. Same. I think all of the pieces that they had were great. And so with Eddie Murphy being, Eddie Murphy is beyond great. Mm -hmm. They could have came up with a better product. It was poorly written. It was um, predictable. It was too over the top as far as the, um, like it was too drastic. Like you could have slapsticky. Yeah, it was like, it was, it was whack to me. Very slapsticky. Very slapsticky. Very um, embellished and exaggerated. Mm -hmm. That shit was trash. That's kind of yeah. what I got from that. Right? It was trash. Right? right? Trash. I didn't think it was terrible though, but it was it was. I both, both families were obnoxious. I, I don't want to be this guy. I swear I don't want to be this guy. But if I was white, I wouldn't think it was terrible either. Yes, you're right. I would actually like it a little you, more. You were yeah, you were laughing a little bit after I finished laughing at the first twenty twenty five minutes, and I really got into what the film was about. All laughter left. I don't even see how you laugh for twenty five minutes because I have no idea what this film was about. She so was you trash. start with. A podcast. Let me also say I'm tired of shows and movies starting with a podcast. I am. Maybe it's hate. Yeah, yeah. But between, only murders between in the building him, is the only one that I Only like. murders in the building. Like. Truth be told. Bro. There's bro. been a bunch. You Where people. There's a bunch today, of them now. Sex in the City. Podcasting the reboot is was it. All podcasts. Unfortunately. Podcasting I know, but, is but, but along with Ish saying it's poor writing, I would like to know when they started writing this film. How long before the Kyrie... Holocaust Jewish uh, uh, talk piece was mm -hmm. this movie because it just seemed like seemed like that's when they started writing the movie. Yeah. Then they put all of these comedians and celebrities in the movie, which for me is a clear sign that this is about to be ass. It brings me back to who's the man or some shit and coming to America and anything with just a bunch of celebrities in it. Coming uh, to America too. Huh? I mean, coming to America too, right? That too. What do you mean that? You wasn't saying coming to America, to America was ass, right? No, I'm talking. Oh. About, I said who's the man? I said the movie I want. He to said coming to America. America. Oh, coming to America too. Okay, okay. So ne never I, coming I, I to just, America. Well, well, a lot of celebrities. Well, that I never to coming sure to was, America. You know, had to check that. Yeah, no, but this 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 new shit. By the time by the time they got to the scene, and this is what really just took it for me. Spoiler alert: If you haven't seen it, the Kofi. That was it. It was over. Yeah, yeah that was it. That was over. And that's why I'm saying, if I was white, I maybe enjoy it more. Because when they start explaining the cultural differences and they get into black culture, black culture is a lot more than wearing the wrong color in a barbershop, mm -hmm. uh, calling necks at a basketball court. <laughs> you like insulting me now. Mm -hmm. yeah. Like I saw a white men can't jump. Enough of this. What are y'all doing? Uh, 
That that when they burnt the shit. More than that. Yo, every Muslim man is not just coming in on the real militant shit. Yo, yeah, you know Farrakhan in the middle of the Jewish people's house. Yeah, right. you know my my idol, Farrakhan. Yeah. It, the shit was trash. It was just it I didn't, I didn't I might I not watch this shit now. The way y'all You ain't missing it. nothing. I didn't like it. You felt more insulted. I support Kenya it? Barris. I support Jonah Hill. I ain't feel uh I just think it was lazy. It's I a think, cool, it's a cool I concept. Think, I think you got the, the names. Like even how they marketed the movie, like Nia Long, you barely see Nia Long if you don't got a pause button. But at the way you market it, you think Nia Long plays a significant role in the movie. She doesn't. Mm. Uh, well, it, they had a movie like that with Cindy Portier, Guess Who's Coming Home for Dinner. Cindy true. Portier had a movie like that where they true. had to meet the in laws, both parents. Mm-hmm. But mm-hmm. And that was a little different. But yeah, I that can was see it. Yeah. more serious than this is. A yeah, it was more comedy, serious. That yeah. was written well. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. This ain't that. Well, it's not like that at all. Mm-mm. This is trash. Okay. And again, I hate to say it was trash because, you know, you fuck with Eddie Murphy. And, and and all of the cast um, in the movie, but it wasn't. It, it's not good. Got you. Okay. I'm still gonna watch it. <laughs> yeah, you should check it out. But that that dinner scene where they end up burning the burning the uh, Kofi, the Kofi no, off of Eddie Murphy. Is it like disrespectful? That's how you felt. It's, it's just borderline. If you believe but... in in subcontext, then yes. Got uh, it. My answer is yes. Got it. Mm. If only if you believe in subcontext. If you're just taking this for a comedic. Movie, then no. See, but but I now that you said that, I, I didn't even look at it as this. But I know that people got to approve these types of movies. I know that these big companies shit got to go up a chain of command, and a bunch of eyes got to get on this. Uh-huh. So for this to be approved, like I want to see Kenya Barris do black comedy, not framed and plated for whites. Mm. Mm. Like good. blackish. Grown ish, all of his shit is black shit, which I love because I'm black. So the first 20 minutes, I'm black, I'm laughing at it until I realize I'm laughing at something different. And you almost get to feel like you said it's not for you, even if you're black. Like this ain't. Or even if it is for you, you they still got to make it uh, palatable for the whites. Yeah. 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 Yeah, And and culturally, we just are a lot more than what they choose to show. That's what I like. That's hate to like. come in here and be racy man over a that's, movie. That's what I didn't like. Like, I really want to just enjoy movies, but I believe in subcontext. I, I do. Even, you know what I got mad at? This is how mad I be at subcontext. Lauren London, in the beginning of the shit, is talking to her ex. Her ex is trying to get her back. They must have just broke up. Mm-hmm. Okay. The ex is, he's reading off lines, he's getting this shit off, and eventually... He hands her the phone. She said, let me see your phone. Yeah, she t- he hands her the phone. Her dad is sent is feeding the ex what to say to get the girl back, mm-hmm. right? So she sees that, and she storms off. We never see him again. That bothered me. <laughs> what did Lauren London do? That bothered me. Why? Because it perpetuates a stereotype. Mm. That's why. Got it. It perpetuates a stereotype. And if I'm wrong about that, because when I thought it, I said, I might be wrong about this. Then she met Jonah Hill, and they got engaged in the next... Six months or something. Yeah, yeah something, stupid. something stupid. Eight, yeah. nine months. And then I said, oh, I wasn't wrong. <laughs> I wasn't wrong about that. What's the stereotype that, that it perpetuates? The same shit that Jason Whitlock just finished saying about single mothers raising black children. Oh, he went there. <laughs> He's an idiot. He went there. He is an idiot. And that was a very idiotic statement to make. It was. But I put him with they. Everything, he's, he works for they. He's worse than they. He's much worse than they because he's not they. But he works for they and he says a lot of they-ish type shit. So that's the, that's the stereotype. Is that this guy that you was in a long-lasting relationship with who wants you back and who you clearly Evidently have history he with. He did some bullshit. But you have history. He talked to the parents. He's fly with you. Right. He's out the scene for the rest of the movie. <laughs> You'll never see him again. That may be Joe freestyling and some shit, but I didn't like it. There was a lot in there that I just was uncomfortable with. That's all. Back in the days, they used to have people that experienced these on set while they were writing it, right? Like on set to guide them through these movies. Do you think that they're doing it like that these days? Or you think it's just some white man? Yeah, I I think that. I think... I'm sorry, go ahead. I think the writing room is mixed. Okay. So if the writing room is mixed, then you don't really have to go up the... You know what I'm saying? Got it. The political channels. Like somebody probably... Kenya Barris is black. That's my bigger issue. 
It's the Kenya Barris, who idol of mine. He's dope. Inspiration of mine. He's dope. The Lena Wraiths. Mm -hmm. The, even the Tyler Perrys, who's gone about it different, but they're black. Jordan Peele. Mm -hmm. Like Hollywood and the, the green lighters and the check makers go to certain black people for the black experience, but frame it and plate it the way that it's mm -hmm. supposed to be played it. And I, I'm just tired of that. It I'm could, tired of that. I'm not, I'm not excusing it by any means. I don't want anybody to take this the wrong way, but it could be those names that you mentioned playing the game. They are. Like, they are. And, and they're successful in it. And, and, exactly. So in but order the to true, be successful, but I But the true genius is when you do that without the consumer knowing that you're doing that. Mm -hmm. I'm not mad at people doing that. I, so don't misconstrue me. You should plate something so that everybody finds it funny. Like, I come in here and I big up Abbott Elementary, Abbott Elementary, right? But that's because Quinta has found a way to make white people laugh and black people laugh without going all the way to one culture or making one culture look at the other culture and this culture make it. It's just a funny fucking show. Mm -hmm. That's it. Funny is funny, bro. True. True. Or even, look, my, my thing is this. When you have Eddie Murphy as your anchor and your staple, mm -hmm. You don't even got to do all of that embellishing shit. You get what I'm saying? Like, you don't got to do that. So, I, like, he... He could have been him. Yeah. I would have maybe enjoyed that movie more if Eddie Murphy got to play himself. Was just a concerned black father. Mm -hmm. Without the... Eth you know what I mean? Like, mm -hmm. the Muslim piece and the Farrakhan piece Because Corey and made all a good point. Elaine... Uh, that just character was, a regular, was Elaine. Yeah. But yeah. The, do you, the dad... The dad. Jonah. David, David Duchovny, yeah. Do you they think, was just chilling. Do you think because people easily become offended, they don't want to make a movie too black? They made it more black than they had to make it. They made him a Muslim. His name was Akbar. Mm -hmm. oh, yeah, he was, was wearing going, kufis yeah, and yeah, all this shit. Crazy. They were making fun of it. Nobody's burned a kufi in real life, so they were making no, fun. No, they didn't burn it by mistake. But they, he, he took Jonah Hill to like a crip barbershop in L.A. with a red hoodie on. My nigga, all of this shit is stereotypical it and is. slapstick, yeah. but they didn't yeah. do that on the Jewish side of the ball. Yes, and that's where I'm at. Mm -hmm. So if they would have embellished all the shit on the other side of the ball, then it would have been even. They didn't do that. They just made them a normal, so it wasn't like, it wasn't Jewish like, family. This, this is the other part that was confusing. I'm glad you brought that up. Mm -hmm. In that, you have this comedy that is culture-based, different cultures, mm -hmm. and they have Holocaust jokes in this movie, mm -hmm. but from Jewish people. Mm -hmm. Ooh with black people and black culture prevalent in the movie. So I'm confused at home saying, okay, when is it okay to make a Holocaust joke and when is it not? I understand that it's Jewish people making the joke. That's yeah. when it's okay. That's when it's okay, yeah. It's like us it's making like, a slavery joke. Like we can make nigga. slavery jokes. It's like us saying nigga. We can say nigga. We can say anti-black shit say when it. somebody else says yeah. it, then it's not appropriate. So yeah. I, I'm not even mad at that. What I'm mad at, again, is how you embellish the Muslim side, but you didn't embellish the Jewish so, side. You didn't have, like, locks and, and, you know, other things that are typical Jewish staples. No you dreidels, didn't bring that up in that. Uh -huh. No dreidel, none of that. I don't know what's what that. that? I don't the know. Little, thing they spin yeah, the top looking thing. I don't know. I that. mean, we're not going to get another stir crazy. We're not going to get another Silver Streak. We're not going to get movies like that with Gene Wilder and Richard Pryor were playing with it. Because I think show. it's lazy writing. I agree. Like Eddie Murphy is Eddie Murphy, dog. Like you can't find people that can write like Eddie Murphy. You just At can't. All. Yeah, but on the flip side, if the five of us get together, write something in two weeks, and we could go get. 100 mil for it. You, you're going to do it. Then we're going to do it. Gonna, but back it. in those days, they put so much thought into the movies. Mm -hmm. right? it's, it's, it's and the they art. would bring people on to right. have them behind the they, scenes to guide and coach you. No, this is how we would do it. Or this they, is, yeah, you but, know, yeah, but thought, flip. thoughts died. But look, flip. <laughs> Why? Because of, of this? Flip. Because flip, look, look, yeah, look. The phone, you the, said the microwave the movies, era. Back in the day, like the art today for music, movies, n none of it's, had, it's all That's quick cash grabs today. Michael. Would it ever it's very, very, very rare that people in, in any form of art are putting, like, are trying to actually create great art today. Would it ever go back to that, you guys think? I doubt it. I doubt it. Yeah, I don't think so no. that somebody could take We're in an time. instant gratification era. So no, now we nobody, are. we want to get it done. We want to get it done as fast as possible. Okay. For as little as possible. 
and make as much <laughs> as big a return as possible. Because you know, Mr. Farrakhan was on set. They wouldn't go down like that. That's what's happening. Oh, today. oh, stop, stop. Get stop. this done in a week. We're gonna spend ten million on it, and we want to make two hundred million on it. Mm. We'll spend more on marketing than we spend on on actual more. product because True. because they, because they've tricked the people to just care about the marketing. Yeah. Like this movie, the way y'all describing it, I don't even want to see it now. I mean, I'm gonna check it out anyway, but well, y'all go check rushing, it out. But look, I'm not rushing to go see it. But the way it was marketed, I wanted to see it. Me and my girl—that's our plan for this weekend. We, yo, we definitely watching. Fan, me and my girl, girl watched, watched that. it, and my girl was fell asleep. Like my girl looked. It's all at about that, the marketing. My now. girl looked at the Koofy shit and was like, "What?" Nah, I'm good. That's when I was kind of done with. My it. girl was like, "Yo, I'm good." After the Koofy only, shit, only, only, and this how you know it's bad writing. See, if you're in the writing, this how you know it's bad writing. I'm in the writing a little bit. I'm not. All of that, that, all of that for the big reveal at the end. Oh, now I'm going to tell. So, sorry. <laughs> Cut it off. For the big reveal at the end to be Jonah Hill telling off Eddie Murphy, telling off the dad about how he treated him during the movie, mm -hmm. and Lauren London telling off the mom. Elaine, mm -hmm. the mom, about how you treated her during the movie. Mm -hmm. End of the movie. No, that wasn't. Yeah. It was the wedding. And which is so the wedding stereotypical. Yeah, you already yeah. can predict what was going to take place mm -hmm. in this movie. What should have happened then, Ish? He should have chased us. He should like what should have happened? Well, don't put it on. Don't don't ask Ish that it's because not, Ish has I'm never said he tried to write yeah, a movie. I'm not a writer. I'm not a writer. What the quality can... movies, in my opinion, are the movies where you cannot within a half an hour know how this movie's going to end. A lot of rom coms are very um, predictable like that, though. True. Yeah, I agree. With that that, Jeez, that, that genre is, is true, right. like that. You can kind of call it. You can that almost call it in the first. They're 10 always minutes. gonna get married at the end. That's true. Yeah, it's a meme going around. That's true. It's a meme going around that was saying that Lauren London and Michael B. Jordan are the same actor. <laughs> I hadn't seen the movie when I saw that meme, but then I saw the movie. No, no, that's not true. My timeline's wrong. I saw the meme. Then I saw Saturday Night Live, hosted by Michael B. Jordan and Lil Baby. Mm -hmm. And then I saw the movie. That State Farm bit was funny, though. And I'm here. It was. That was funny. It was. <laughs> I'm here to tell y'all that Lauren London had more lines in this movie than Michael B. Jordan's last 50 movies combined. <laughs> I don't care if the whole room is quiet. I I so. <laughs> Hey, she had more lines than everything from Fruitville Station and after. <laughs> Michael B. Joy was choking on him Saturday Night Live lines. I said, ah, it's tough saying lines, right? <laughs> that nigga couldn't get through the monologue. He said, duh, 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 duh. I said, yeah, nigga. This ain't Wakanda. <laughs> Yo, you stupid. All right, I'm done because he's from Jersey, big Jersey. I don't care. Creed three coming out, so and I'm watching it. <laughs> I'm in, and it. I'm watching it for Jonathan Myers, Mayors, Majors, Majors, Majors. him too. Him too. Snowfall commercials even look bad. <laughs> yeah. I ain't even saying it no more. Snowfall commercials even look bad. And yo, Leon from BMF is a Londoner. Mm -hmm. Word? Yeah. Mm. Mm -hmm. Good actor. Is that all you have to say? <laughs> Damn, they getting you niggas out of here. Okay. Hold up. Now I want to hear your assessment. They're getting you niggas out of here. They can go over there and get them to do these roles for much cheaper than the you heard, You've heard my assessment on here. I, I keep saying I wish they hire an American black guy to play American black man. No. They won't. All of the people that kill these roles, they're over there somewhere. Mm -hmm. And we don't know it until they sit down with E and start using their real voice. Their real voice. Mm -hmm. This nigga's a model. He's buff. Bitches like this nigga. <laughs> <laughs> They got to stop letting the London niggas come take out Delta. That's how Drake really shot up. So letting these Canadian niggas come over here and do what they want. Anyway. Anyway. Shout out to Michael B. Jordan. Yeah, you stupid. That's my man right there. Uh, what else did I want to come in here and rant about? Tom Brady retired, but how important is that to Not us? Not Bad boys. What? what, what, what? <laughs> Let's stay on movies. Come on. I think, I think it's going to be amazing. I know you do. I, I think, know you do. I think they... they um, you thought life was better than Beverly Hills Cop, too. <laughs> <laughs> Why do I hear life? <laughs> don't, please don't say it on here. You got to say it. Yo, oh. I think that um they know that the, the chemistry was off in Bad Boys 3. Uh -huh. 
And I think they, they I think they gonna put their foot in Bad Boys Four. I think so. Because Bad Boys Three was trash. It wasn't trash. It wasn't good. But I think they gonna come back and snap back on uh, Bad Boys Four. It's my personal opinion. What about Rush Hour? Who's, di- who's directing Bad Boys Four? The Oscar the Oscar board. Damn. I'm asking. They got this nigga by the buckle. <laughs> he got. He just got to do whatever they say. <laughs> Come on, nigga. Go another Oh, one. shit. Yo. You stupid, yo. I'm not going to watch Bad Boys 4. I- I'll catch it. On I the- hate y'all for watching Bad Boys 3. Bad Boys 2, if I take some of the action out, I ain't going to do it. Relax. I ain't going to do it to y'all. Relax. I ain't going to do it to y'all. I'm not going to do it. Right, good. Relax. Bad Boys 2 hey, fire. Fire. Give me 900 million and I can make Bad Boys 2 too. Like, get some niggas to shoot some shit up. I go, I go to the gym. I, to, what? I go be Will. My shirt off. You know what I mean? Me and you. Who's going to tell him? Me and you. <laughs> <laughs> Who's going to tell him? For the right amount of money? I'll go get Funk Master Flex for the right amount of money, nigga. You got it backwards, you know, by the way. <laughs> Cause why, it's all right, bro. No, I, yo, try to no, 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 I got, it. no, I'm gonna give it to you. I got, oh, I'm gonna say man. it to you, and we moving on. Why? Because why if I do get you say? Kenny, then I could go get the money. Why you don't say? Why you don't say that to yourself? Dog, it's all right. I'm bro. gonna get this lipo because I know skinny me could go get X amount of. But you say if I get X amount, then I'll go get skinny. If somebody said, "Yo, I'm gonna give you a contract for X Y Z amount of money to play in this movie, but you got to lose all this weight in six months." Cocaine. Once we sign that contract. <laughs> <laughs> Well, nigga, you, nigga, I'm going to add a roll up. I gave you a contract and said I would give you X amount of dollars to come play in this movie. <laughs> Look at you. What, I, what, I what you, that mean? What I'll, that mean? I'll fight you over him. <laughs> what that mean? Stop. I'll fight you over him. Stop. <laughs> Yo, I didn't say nothing. But you're looking at me. You called yeah. me. I'll fight you over him. Stop. I, I called you what? Don't call me. Yeah. <laughs> Don't call me. Anyway. Stop playing with my man. <laughs> no, you stop playing with me. <laughs> hey, Yo, Joe, let me ask you. Did you hear about, um, I'm going to ask you what uh, Drake and his, his message to Spotify? Let's hear it. Saying about, yo, y'all giving me enough plaques, y'all giving me enough certificates. Uh-huh. You should be cutting bonuses to the artists who basically, because he he passed some number like he's the first seventy five billion streams to get seventy five billion streams, and he's like, yeah, I don't want a certificate. And they I don't and want they they got the arrogance and are bold enough to promote it. Yeah, that's what he said. Don't promote. That's the shit. slap in the face. Don't promote it. The sad part is, is Drake is probably bonus. the one getting the bonus. <laughs> yeah, he don't even realize. Yeah. Drake is not getting a bonus, yo. Not a bonus, but compared getting, to what the getting, rest of the motherfuckers is getting on Spotify. Yeah, but he should. That, that, that makes sense. No, he should get a bonus, nigga. If I'm the one bringing the apples and the crust, give me my biggest. You getting the biggest shot? You are getting that. That's what. That's what Parks has been. Don't let me get how the Spotify talking. works. I think all the artists on Spotify should be paying Drake. <laughs> <laughs> don't get me. Don't get me started. Damn near. They are the ones that came after Drake was mm-hmm. Drake. I think they should be paying him. I'm bringing the audience over this motherfucker here. They are. They are which is why he's getting the biggest share When you type in the Drake playlist, anybody that's on there need to cut me a piece of that check. Mm. I told y'all they that do. no way Drake should have fucking signed for 400 million, but there's no need to harp on it because I don't think Drake signed for 400 million. So we can move on. Or you don't, or we don't know the, the particulars. They just threw a number out there. I know it wasn't 400 million. But, or you don't know what he gave up for the 400. You know what I'm saying? Might have been light. In his case, I don't care what he gave up. <laughs> Only in his case. Whatever you gave up, I'd have given up. <laughs> <laughs> hey, but he's the exception. Yeah, he is. He is the exception. He is. Absolutely. He Absolutely. Is, he's not the rule. It's nobody else. Yeah. Yo, it's just him. And the field is so far behind him, it's not even. Yo, you know what I was thinking about? If I'm Drake, I got to feel really good. And if I'm Drake, Future, a few other people, I got to feel really good. It's 2023. We already into 2023. This shit will get moving soon. Summer's coming. It's soon to be 2024, mm-hmm. which leaves us six years to 2030. In the late 20, in 2017, 2018, this shit, 2016, this shit seemed so far away. Mm-hmm. And our conversation was trying to guess who would be dominant in music and take over from 2020 to 2030. So as I sit in 2023, about to be 2024, and there's no clear-cut person, and I'm Drake, and I just dropped, and I'm still 90 weeks on chart. Nigga. There's one other guy. He don't speak English, though. Yeah. Well, yeah we don't count him. But Drake told <laughs> we y'all. We don't count him. Drake told y'all. <laughs> hey, Drake told y'all in 2013. Well, Drake said it's him and the guy. Yeah. And he said, I'm tired of hearing about who you're checking for now. Let's give it time. We see you still around a decade from now. The decade is here. I don't want to hear them other names. I don't want to hear it. 
I'm still doing this, the exact same thing that I was doing in 2013. No, no, no. It is true. It is true. Yes and no. There's no no to it, bro. It is a no to it. Let me hear it. Because I feel like at the time that line was somewhat directed to, you know the list, the other two (laughs) niggas. Yeah. But they still around. Yeah. Yeah, that's true. And they still make a noise. That's true. Around and- Stop it. Stop. Stop yeah. it, Ice. Come on, come on, if come they on, wanted, Ice. If they wanted to put come out on, product Ice. as they, often as him, Ice, they, come they on. don't. It was only at one nigga. I don't two. care. Who the two? No. Kendrick Cole and Kendrick. Kendrick. Cole and Kendrick. Kendrick and Cole. Oh, see, I took that totally different. It's Kendrick, Cole, and Drake. But you said if they wanted to put out product as often as he did, guess what? They don't. But they that still matters. Here. But when they do, they're still here. That matters, they're though. Still here. That, I don't care. Yeah, right. they and don't do that. Drake be putting out the fucking... Unreleased, unfinished mixtape, and do what? Him. And what it do? That's what I'm saying. Oh, though. Do what it do. That's what I'm. That's what I'm talking about. You did, Ryan. <laughs> <laughs> that nigga said, "Yo, you gonna said, give me some of that OVO NFL merch?" He could man. put out a blank CD and niggas would buy. It. Like, yo, he damn they could. Here's some more music that I'm confused about. What's up? So Escape and SWV have a reality show coming to, I think, Bravo. Why are you laughing? I'm serious. No, I heard about this. That's why I'm laughing. And it looked like a good show. It does look like a good show. But at the end of the trailer, they show where the tension comes in with who should be closing this show. And it's they, about like and a they, live show? They're doing a lot. They, yeah, they're going on tour together. Got it. Okay. So it's about two legendary r and groups from the 90s. Uh, getting back together, rehearsing, practicing. Like I said, they follow the whole thing. Uh huh. Does it uh, look from the trailers? It looks obviously, great. does it look real or does it look it scripted looks reality? No, it okay. looks real. Cool. It looks real and it looks great. See, this, inter- this is interesting then, to me. Looks real and it looks great. It does, which is why I got confused at this particular <laughs> argument because it looks so real. It's real. They're not faking. Good. Escape think they should close. SWV thinks they should close. Mm. Now, Candy has gone on. This wouldn't have really been a conversation in the 90s. It wasn't. But Candy went on to write every hit in the world from there. Mm -hmm. So today I can see Escape looking like, nah, we Escape and we're novelty and we need to go last. SWV, they broke up. They wasn't talking for a I don't think anybody who heard both of their catalogs think that Escape should go last. I'm confused. I don't care what Candy wrote. Yeah. That ain't got shit to do with this. It's the group. It's the group. If you wrote 17 songs for... SWV was a bigger group. Of course. As someone who was not an R&B head, just like... Bigger hits. By a lot. But by a lot. Like, I wasn't that big into R&B, and I know a lot of SWV songs. I know a lot less. I only know... They got more records, and they got bigger records. Bigger records. Way bigger records. Now, that's not... That's not to say Escape Bang. That's not to say Escape Bang got joints. Not disrespecting Escape. Understanding who could I run to. Like, they got joints. But SWV... It's levels. Mm-hmm, but you know as an artist levels, well you know as an artist mm-hmm. but you have these conversations about who should close and it really be a fight between artists because one artist can't say to the other one yo you was never on my level mm-hmm. <laughs> Sometimes like, they in, do in, <laughs> in no world should you be hitting the stage after me artists can't say that mm-hmm. this but would, I feel like if there was a time to say, to say that SWV it, should be saying but I think somebody this, should say this it. right here will make you this is what make you appreciate Poor Prince because Prince if he was alive he would have said that Prince would have done it <laughs> yeah, I just <laughs> like it or not I was in the that motherfucker would have said nah, he nah, would have nah. done it I was in the barbershop yesterday and they had the Larry King Prince interview on the whole time I was in the barbershop the whole time I was like, he would have said that look at like look at this but um what'd you think I, I like dog. I don't dis. Prince is him. I know. I don't think you dislike Prince. You know I like Prince. You just having a little stupid yeah, content I, argument. I, I mean, I just don't think his um his catalog. Imp- Nobody's impact wasn't what Michael's was. I but agree. we can see him saying that he would have told Absolutely. him. Absolutely, nah, I ain't gonna call him nothing name. No, bro, I, dog. I went to see a Prince show and that nigga went to the edge of the stage and was like, "None of these niggas could fuck with me." <laughs> Damn, we've seen <laughs> them dudes. We've Period. seen them. Like, and was that. dead motherfucking serious. He be dead serious. We've too. seen them do like you know how they do a little tribute show or whatever. Prince sitting in the crowd while they performing tight. his records, tight, tight in the face, mm-hmm. mad mm-hmm. like. Yeah. Y'all, like he, he letting it be seen, like, mm-hmm. get, and they be killing it. It'd be like an A list. Nah, we like, be sitting like, this nigga they rocking. Tra- you look at Prince, Trey like, song singing Prince. That nigga was, that was the funniest thing in the world. <laughs> like that, bro, that, that was the funniest thing in the world. Like he could have jumped up there and beat Trey Song's ass. That's how mad he was. That's how he was. Like, he was like, All right. So we feel the SWV should tell Escape that 
They, so, they, somebody they, should they, tell they, they might be selling the show. Somewhere. They got to sell the show, so they got to show the tension. Somebody should tell You know what I'm saying? Like, that might be a marketing thing. You're right. Whenever that show comes on, SWB better be coming on last. Because, <laughs> yeah. I get so Coco, Coco better be. Coco. I hardly speak. I lose. I'm control. in the background. I'm doing the background. I, I hit him with you the control, y'all. You know what I mean? I don't know about Over me. Wait, wait, wait. It's it's it. 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 Oh, it's fine. It's fine. Come on. No, 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 no. He got a white nigga tattooed on him. How would he know SWB? Yeah, you, you know dog, Sinatra, but you don't know weak? You have fuck Yeah, son. You have lost all of your... I don't want to wow. hear the web and nitty, nitty era. None of that. You grew up in fucking. You're supposed to hear those. You're the acapella. You're never supposed to hear from me. This nigga don't know weak. Yeah, I don't give a fuck. Yeah, don't worry. Yeah, yeah. Shout out to Lily. Shout out to Lily. I don't know what it is that you've done to me. I know the words. Give me some yeah, reverb. Go, go, go. Something <laughs> about <laughs> in such a crazy way. That's right, Flip. Yeah. No, you. Whatever, Whatever it is that you do, what you do, what you do, what you do me. out. It's a feeling that I want. You got to do the bridge. You got to do the bridge. It's all you. Oh, hold on. Yeah, I, I saw one flip. I saw one flip. Because my heart starts beating triple time with thoughts of loving you on my mind. You got to do the hook, though. I can't figure out just what to do when the comic here is you. All right, Flip. It's your time to shine. Let's go. Your contract is over. Let's go. I get so. I lose. Lose control takes over me. Takes over me. Amen. All right, all right, all right. Yo, fam, you not singing. Yeah, you don't not. know the you're words. Not. You're not. My pride <laughs> <laughs> knock me right off of my feet. Let's move on. Let's move on. Yeah, man. We get more second break. Hey, look, we gonna get you right though. We gonna move on. We gonna get you right. Yeah. Uh, you know you right. Damn. What else do I have here in unimportant news or important news? Round of applause for Ice T. Round of applause for Ice T, who is now huh? Getting a star in the walk. Of yeah, star in the oh, walk. Uh, star in the walk. Of, uh, star in the walk of What's fame. Yeah, I'm surprised he didn't have one. Yet. Yeah, yeah, that's crazy. Mad late. Mad late. <laughs> Congratulations well, to Ice T, first rapper with a podcast. Round of applause. Was it? I don't hear y'all say that enough when y'all start talking about rappers with podcasts. Ice T was the first one. Shout out to Ice. Huh? Ice, say that too. Legend, legend. Soulja Boy gonna pop up with a video. Nah, I had one first. I didn't know that. Mm. I didn't know that either. Yeah, I don't really first. know about hip hop that much, right? First one, Tan River rode up with that red How? Ferrari. <laughs> <laughs> Can I ask a question, please? Rolls How Royce. big was oh Ice T's impact, Joe? Huh? Like, hold on, I'm just asking. How big was his impact? Massive. Was he respected? Yes. Yes. Absolutely. Everywhere. It is. Not Everywhere. It is. It, yeah, it, still it is. is. Is and was. Is. And, and, and not, so it wasn't a facade not, or nothing. The lights no, hell, hell no. Hell no. Okay, his hand was And you know, okay. what's, you know what's crazy? Like, Ice-T, like, musically, like, people, you think SVU and all, like, bro, this nigga was super gangster, gangsterous of gangster rappers, bro. Mm -hmm. Like, Cube. A lot of people don't realize who Cube don't was. Okay. Cube okay. was they don't know who these dudes was before the, well, NWA the family did, reigns. In, in, for me, N.W.A., Cube, Two Live Crew, mm -hmm. Ice T, mm -hmm. uh, Public Enemy, mm -hmm. X Clan, like okay. yeah. their fight, they was on some other shit. Like they fought with the powers that be. Facts. <laughs> like in court. In court. <laughs> yeah. Like the White House. Yeah. Yeah. Like the president's wife saying, "Now nah, we gotta shut this down." Type yeah. Shit. Yeah. They took on the real fights. Mm. Robert, and, Nick, and, Nick, and, and, and and you know shit. what? Because I want to. You know who you gotta. You know who you gotta add to that list. <laughs> You know who you really got to add to that list? Drama and Cannon. Even though it was later on. For sure. You have to add them to that list that took on them fights for hip-hop. With the whole mixtape when they tried to, the feds tried to run, shut them down. Like, that was a big fight that they took on. Mm -hmm. And won. That don't get spoken. You don't beat the feds. Yes. Yeah. They took that and won. So they, yeah. Round of applause for Drama and Cannon. That's true. That's true. Yeah, but Ice-T, yes. He's him. Yeah. yeah. Got it. 100%. It's, it's real. It's not. Across the board. Yeah. Yes. It's mm -hmm. not for play play. So. Um, do I have anything else in music? Let's see here. Can I escape. Man, Beyonce announced that tour. Yeah. I told y'all it was coming. And <laughs> <laughs> Yo, I try them tickets. Oh no. <laughs> Yo, is it true that she's uh stopping the reseller shit? So yes. they, I saw they some started, tweets, but I wasn't. So sure. what they're doing is it now you have to register. It's kind of like um the sneakers app. Uh-huh. You have to register. Yeah. And what happens is they're gonna release 
I think it's Monday that the first um, the official, lottery pick. It's a lottery. It's pick. a lottery. Yeah. Okay. And they'll, you'll be notified. You got X amount of time to buy your tickets. Right. They already said they've already announced seven extra dates. But I've read that they're not letting. Yeah, the reseller market happened. They're, they're, yes. you have to buy it officially through a resell officially through back through her site or whoever's Correct. handling her Correct. site, they're as opposed to, to going that. to uh, StubHub or something like that and running the yeah cr- they're, prices they're, up crazy. They're not. They're not. They're trying to stop that. And then also they announced seven extra shows, so it's like back to backs. Like I know the um, MetLife mm-hmm. is the July 29th and the 30th. Yeah, my birthday. Mm. Ain't nobody cares. Uh, they've already birthday. said Your birthday 29th. They they put out a little statement. They were like the. It's about an 800% um, demand versus what's going to be available. Mm-hmm. Mm. They were like, everybody not getting tickets. We telling y'all now. Mm-hmm. That's, that's what they said. It's impossible. <laughs> we just, it's impossible with it's, the amount of shows, even though these are stadiums. Don't matter. She's doing a stadium tour. It, you're not going to be able to go to the show. Just flat out. They said that. They Live said that. shows are luxury and I about ticket you, yep, item. Yep. You said that. It is not for you broke fans. Yo, I'm going to keep it above. All entertainment is going toward that. You think they just inflating eggs and nothing else is supposed to go up? Well, no, I agree with you. But the problem is not that the... Um it's the reseller. It's not the, the fact that the right. t- it's a luxury item for sure. That like, you don't just go to concerts unless you have a couple extra dollars to spend mm-hmm. off. But because of that sheer demand, nature, yeah. But because of that demand, it now we can, yeah. now now yeah. it creates a resale. Yeah. I don't care what demand. happens in reselling. Yeah. Like that's no, but, but that's where the issue is. The people aren't like yo, concert tickets are too high. Concert tickets are too high because the reseller market exists and it should probably be reined in to some degree. But think about no. You, but this is what I'm saying. Yes, you, you, I don't think concert tickets kind of are not from free high enterprise. because of the resale market. Yes, you can't get concert tickets. You they all get, get gobbled up, conference. and then it's all. Right. I understand that part. But so what I'm we, saying is, when we decide to go on the road, not yeah. us, but any any whoever, yeah, yeah, you got to come up with a. We got to come up with a price Correct. for sure. For, Correct for sure. And it's but that be a, price ain't really what the consumer is going to pay because what happens is. The second the tickets go up. Don't tell me about that. All right, go ahead. I don't, I don't care about that. But that's, that's what, y'all that's argument. Though. Let y'all argue that. Mm-hmm. What I'm saying is, Chris Brown sat down and said, I can get a thousand, I, I can get people to come pay a thousand dollars for, behi- behi- for behi- a meet and greet. Yes. Artists, nation and worldwide, are figuring out and have figured out that my fans will pay 10X, yeah. 20X. And that decision Start your ticket price is off. what now y'all have your resale conversation all day long. Because but it's that decision. The artist ain't sitting there saying, yo, resale's going crazy, so I'm going. Now, the sneaker people might do that. Mercedes, G-Wagon, all yeah. of them might do that. But when it comes to the art, nah, this is the price of this. Because it's, no stand, it's no standard manufacturing retail price with art. Like, if you got a Benz or if you got a pair of Air Force Ones, it's a manufactured retail price yes. that's based yes. on something. Yes. Mm. When you got an artist, no disrespect to any I ain't even going to say no names. But Beyonce, we know it's... Yes. It's, it's, it's alpha. Yeah. alpha, alpha, yeah. right? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Okay, so you might get a C-level artist. They can't charge a Beyonce charging for their tickets. But, yeah, no, what is that? That's, but, because but it's, that's, that's, that's 101. That's not the issue. So, that's what I'm saying. So, so now, Beyonce's ticket price is going to start off up here. Yes, and probably. Because the demand is so fucking crazy, uh-huh. it opens the door to the resellers. But when she's closing I, the door is what the conversation is that we're having. Somebody gonna start buying it. It's still gonna be a resale market. It's not if you have to. If, not if you have to go through a certain lane we'll to do it. We we'll see. see. We'll see. They made the announcement. Uh, they made the announcement that they're watching her. <laughs> Who? Beyonce and Ticketmaster. Oh. they the. Uh, Senate, the House, the legal yeah, people. They're not mm-hmm. playing. They're keeping no a money. close eye on that after the Taylor Swift. Yeah, they need to. They need to rein that in. I'm sorry. It's the bots. Yeah. That never gonna rein it. They can't rein it. They can't. Never yes, gonna you, can. you lost. Well, how? It's a cat and mouse game. The second you tweak something, then they'll find a way around the it. And now you got to tweak again. It's a it's a cat and mouse back. It and could forth probably game. be a um a, a similar. Once system you got computers to, and online, it could involved, probably be a, a similar system game. to NFTs and crypto, where it's uh, encrypted, double encrypted, in order for the shit to get swapped around. So now what? Ha- tickets, physical tickets. It's too hard. So what happened with the Taylor Swift? Just please, Taylor, Taylor Swift. Taylor Swift tickets came out, and instantly they were up fucking 10, 20 x from what the face value of the ticket was. Okay, because they were bought up. A lot of that shit, shit is based on bots and mm-hmm. shit like that. Yes. So, okay. So if a ticket goes on sale at ten o'clock. At ten oh one, they sold out hmm. because at, the bots at, at are 10 buying. Ten o'clock in thirty seconds. Yeah, because more. the bots are already in 
working on milliseconds mm-hmm. that are going to buy 500 tickets. And a ticket that, that would normally be high, like a GA, 150 bucks is pretty high. Like you're, oh, yeah. general, general admission, you're, okay. in the, you're in the stick somewhere. No seat. Now no they're $700. Yeah. Like it's, it's outrageous. Got it. Based on supply and demand. It's simple economics. If Manhattan got, or New York City got 15 million motherfuckers, my hey. girl don't even care about most shit. My girl hit me and said, yo, Beyonce's coming here in July. And, and my girl like, better not hit me. And my girl don't even be on that type of time. Don't hit me. We she not, hit we me not going, like, baby. Beyonce's coming. <laughs> baby, if you watching, we want, <laughs> we not going. I said, yo, my uh, girl hit me and said, Beyonce and Wayne. I was like, oh, shit. Oh, my God, you got one of them. Yeah, yeah like, Wayne's, I was, I was yeah. like, yo, all right. She was I, like, yo, Wayne. I pay. Beyonce. I ain't going, but I pay. My girl hit me about Anita Baker, and that's where we're going to stay. Oh, <laughs> sweet love. <laughs> <laughs> what? I like that. I want to see Anita nice Baker. nice word. Exactly. It's nice when you stop fucking them 25-year-olds. <laughs> 25-year-old don't want to see no Anita Baker. No. Yeah. No. <laughs> they don't. They don't even know who that is. Anita they Baker and Usher, those baby. are two shows. Those are my two shows. That Usher show looks amazing. I saw it two days ago. I told my girl, I said, Joe been trying to get us to go to that Usher show for a year and some change now. <laughs> Dog, no, we that shit this looks year. crazy. This year. this year, it's happening. It was a thing it's about- Next month. Oh, it was a Good Dad's documentary on about Vegas and how racist Las Vegas used to be. I didn't know it. Oh, hell yeah. It Damn. was a really good- I was going to hit everybody, but it was there and they about to go off. That shit was amazing. It was called um, Something of a Nation, but they had Sammy Davis Jr. They had yeah. um, all of them. The Rat Pack. Frank mm-hmm. Just talking yeah. about how racist Las Vegas used to be until your man came and yeah. he changed a lot. He did. Frank Sinatra changed a lot in Vegas. Mm-hmm. Nat King Cole changed a lot in Vegas. You got to watch it. It's good. I'm going to send the name of He it. wouldn't let them send Sammy Davis to the all-black hotel mm-hmm. when yeah. they wanted to get rid of him. He said, nah, if he's not staying here, we not staying here. I'm taking, you know, so, yeah. Get the name, put the name of it. They had to stay our, like 30 minutes away from fucking the strip. Well, right. you, you be trying to stay a doc ahead of me. Send a doc. <laughs> <laughs> send a hey, doc. I stopped sending you docs. I'm like, yo, Joe, this one just came out yesterday. But it goes to show, man, the white man, right? He came in there and shook shit up out there. You know, no more, no more white man talk from you. Yeah, at all. Don't cut, me, don't cut me out. Yeah. Don't cut me off. Nah, yeah. your chest. Say yeah. my man. Yeah. <laughs> I respect Frank. I like Frank Sinatra. I, we know. I do. I the soul man. out his people. Soul of a nation. Soul of a nation. In other words. The tattoo artist was white that did that? Please be true. Or was it a brother? That's a good question. In other, it's a black man. Mm. Be your own people. Uh <laughs> love. <laughs> Uh, talk you out of it. <laughs> what else is important you, or unimportant? Tom Brady so, retired. So, we do have to get to that somewhere. Right. We, we can get to that there. No, you about to? Oh no, I'm just gonna. It's, it's in football. So we when we first talked about Rihanna with the Super Bowl. Mm-hmm. She got Fenty Super Bowl merch that just launched. I bet she do. And she just trademarked Fenty Kids. Genius. Mm. Can we talk about the idiot from the Eagles that got <laughs> that got charged? I mean, we talking about Rihanna first. All right, my fault. Yeah. I'm just saying. All right, my fault. Forget it, y'all. Re getting that motherfucking money. What? No question. And what? plans to get a lot more. I just a think a whole lot more. <laughs> they, they they are learning. We collectively. I just I just left the bank earlier. Mm. And I was talking to my um, bank. Money talk. Did a dude follow you around again? <laughs> man, no man. Yo, he was in my uh, what's the name too. Yo, I'm the dude. I'm like, oh man. But yo, anyway, <laughs> um, nah. I was just talking like the, this is what the we are learning business yes. as we moving. All of us are just learning on the fly mm-hmm. how to conduct business. So trademark and copyright and all of that shit, mm-hmm. like ownership and masters and all, we we getting there. Mm-hmm. Partnerships now instead of yeah. just, yo, here, let me sign yes. over and true. you take true, my true, shit. True. You're not hiring me. You know, we're partners. Yeah, yeah, we're partners. Right. That shit is that. Shit, I just see Drake just got some uh, OVO slash NFL collab with half the football teams. They got jackets, hoodies. That shit is hard. Look that at shit Jack. is hard. Jackets is hard. Look they sit, they sent me the list of what's out there. I'm like, no Pittsburgh? I don't want none of this shit. They got some <laughs> giant shit, though. That shit is hard. The Giants one? Yeah, the Giants one is hard. They are hard. Pause. I know they got a Cowboys. You can't have nothing in the NFL mm. without the... You, you bite your tongue off. I'm dead serious. I don't block. think Dallas was on there. All right. I got the whole line, ish. They got Dolphins for they, yes. have, they have one for every team. They yes. have one for No, it's not for every team. If they don't have they one do for every team, team, they have the Cowboys. They did not do every team, bro. It's like 12 teams. I, I think okay. there's a Dallas one. Of course. What? It's only the most popular. All right. <laughs> don't make me rep for them. Just fuck them. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it is Dallas. Excuse me. I ain't Dallas, that. the Giants, the Rams, the Raiders, the Cincinnati 49ers, <laughs> the Packers, the Bills, and the Dolphins. Mm. Damn, Dolphins, huh? And Dolphins shit is fun. Oh, 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 all that winning, Burrow doing for nothing. All right. 
<laughs> the Bengals got a hard jersey they, they, too. I don't hey, they, they got, you know why? <laughs> Cincinnati. Crazy. We don't give a fuck about that girl. So we better send them refunds. All right, we heard you. <laughs> no jacket for you, buddy. <laughs> now, what you were saying about the cop? No, no, not a cop. Josh, Josh Sills from the Eagles, Eagles was arrested for who's that? Rape. Oh shit! Yeah, he indicted him. Yep, he was arrested for rape. A girl said that at high school. The girl he knew from high school said that he wouldn't let her, let her leave the car and stuff hey. like that, and he forced her to give him head. Oh, right. Third man. And now he can't play. He can't play in um, Super Bowl. Super Bowl at all. Play. Eagles fans, don't too. worry. I looked at the picture of dude when the story broke. He didn't look like an impactful part of it. Yeah, yeah, I don't think he's like, a like, y'all, yeah. y'all should be good. They could have cut him earlier. <laughs> Why are you doing they that? They could have got rid of him earlier. Get his rapist ass out of here. We got it. We we'll got, go. we no got. ring for you. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. He's not going to get a ring? I guess he probably technically he might have other problems to worry about. Yeah, you know? he can't wear that where he's going. Yeah, yeah. easy. Oh, my dad is going. Oh, he hung up. We got him. Yeah. They got him. They got they him. They got him. They got him. We don't know if it's true. I think my pop is in Vegas for the first time. Oh, right? yeah? Yeah. And him and his wife, they're having a blast. Yeah, pop game. But in Vegas, you got to walk a lot, and he got a hip replacement. Oh, yeah. So I'm laughing. I'm thinking about what you I'm laughing my ass off. Pop probably get a little card or something. Pop, pop gamble up. Yeah. Pop, pop might be hitting you. Uh, well, no, you need money to gamble. I just said he might be hitting you. Oh, no, I'm not answering. <laughs> <laughs> See, I ain't answering. <laughs> Yo, you mentioned Vegas. Um, no, let, let me make sure Pop's all right. Hold on. He, okay. might, he might need me for real. Yeah. Why that? Why that? <laughs> now, you ain't have to answer. I forgot you working, right? I know. I'm just making sure you're okay and the casino didn't crack that ass. No, they already did that, man. Me and Jackie trying to find a bus to get home. <laughs> <laughs> I thought you wasn't going in there. Man, you can't. Yeah, I went in there. I had to go after the show. And I went in there. One machine kept calling me. <laughs> you know, we had so to go had, you, had your number. Yeah, tall, but no, man. but they was using my middle name, my full name. <laughs> <laughs> you know? So I had to stop. I thought it was a setup. Oh man. All right, well good yeah. good thing you're coming home. Yeah, yeah. So this bus for Vegas. We'll be there by Monday, I think. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, well we, can, we can't wait till you get back. Tra travel safe. Listen, uh, text me your, your address. Uh, if I can get the Uber, let me get out at uh, Greyhound, whatever. Just Got text you. your address, man. All right, man. All right, oh, man. man. <laughs> oh, man. This guy. Pop is funny. I'm telling you, they'll tear your ass up. Oh, quick. Real quick. Yeah, yeah, I'm, so I'm, fast, I'm, yeah. I don't gamble in Vegas. Me either. Really? I do not. I've never gambled in Vegas. Well, I'll go there and spend like $100 because that shit yeah. goes like this. It's gone. It does. It does. It's so gone. quick, yeah. It's, it's embarrassingly some it's quick. It's some shit with them. I'm, I'm yeah, no doubt. Yeah. It's some shit with them. They take all your shit. Mm -hmm. well, I never you? needed to gamble because you could smoke cigarettes in the oh, casino. Yeah, you you walk around, have a drink, smoke cigarettes. I just stand there and smoke. Yeah. I'm gambling, bro. But sometimes they, you know what I mean, they want to see you want to do a little slot action or something like that. So I'll, Yeah, that's how they start getting you your drinks. Yeah. You gamble a lot-ish? Playing a little bit of money. Mm. Yeah. What's the most money you won? Ever in life? No, in gambling, yeah. Probably like six, seven grand. Damn. Mm. The most I ever lost in one sitting? In one sitting? Yeah. Probably like 4,500. No. Vegas, <laughs> Vegas will tap. That's all you lost? Vegas one will sitting. do it to you. Yeah. Yeah. One sitting? To you. Uh, what about when Shorty took all your houses from you? <laughs> that was more than 40 pounds. She got the best of you. Way more. You let, you, she, you let, crashed, she cracked that. <laughs> he, he landed on the ballwalk and had to give her the shit. <laughs> she got him. Real life. She got him. Now, she got him. <laughs> cracked that coconut, nigga. Monopoly man with doubles <laughs> and the auction <laughs> block, nigga. This was tight. Oh, uh, nah, y'all was mentioning in Vegas. I was saying, did y'all hear um, Lil John is suing the Live Nation? Yes, you know, he the, is. The Lovers and Friends Festival, which takes place in Vegas. Why? Because he's not on the. Yeah. Yeah, yeah he was. Last what? year when they did it, he hollered at him like, yo, that's that's my shit. Yeah. Lovers and Friends oh, is the song. It's yeah. my, my oh, title. Shit. Oh, four so with Chris. Yeah. They had him headlining. Usher. Uh, and this year they did the festival again, and he's not on it at all. So he's like, yo, y'all not going to use my name. Because he said he had a meeting with them last year mm -hmm. about licensing and stuff, the mm -hmm. name and everything. Because yeah. mm -hmm. that's the first thing we all think True. from Lovers and Friends. Mm -hmm. We think of John Usher. You know John Usher? Mm -hmm. Oh. Fire. Mm, mm, mm. Uh oh, uh oh, corny shit. Corn. No, it's high, it's high. I'm just, I'm hating. No, keep talking. This is background music for you. This oh, no, nah, I'm just saying. Yeah, pause yeah. and listen. But, <laughs> bah, we enjoy, you can't just play that shit in the middle of a conversation. Certainly, <laughs> you can't play. Word. That and R. Kelly. Not my fault. 
My fault. Here you go. Stop, man. The nigga hummed the whole shit. But yeah. <laughs> look at look at the hater. Look. Yeah. So he fucking yeah. suing them, Parks. Huh? I said he's suing them. Hey. I mean, he should. Fuck it. I ain't mad. Especially if you already had the conversations. Baby. You had it last year. Yeah. How you doing? And they now did right. gonna try to play. Hey, that shit was fire, son. I can't hear what they're saying. But go ahead. No, I'm talking. They, 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 you can't hear what they're saying. <laughs> don't, don't cut me off like that again. But you cut them you off. You cut us off. I didn't cut them off. It fell in line with what they were saying. I heard what they were saying. <laughs> you playing the music. You're not the only one that could do what you do. You playing that shit while niggas is talking I'm to my sorry. background music. Stop I'm trying, I'm trying to remix to it. Add to your. I turn. Nah, I'm good. Go ahead, brothers. I'm sorry. I'm good. <laughs> yeah. You don't need no add-ons, lovers yeah. and friends. <laughs> but yeah, yeah, get your money, man. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. They are playing not, with them. They you at this point. You 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 knew you was wrong. Mm -hmm. Made when it we, right. When we talked to you last year, you made it right. Now you go back and do the same thing. Trying to make sure that paperwork ain't had no um, shit going forward. We could do X, Y, and Z. Yeah. yeah, that's true too. Also, yeah. while we're on the Vegas topic, I just would like to announce, this is not an ad, but I would like to announce that Frontier is doing their All You Can Fly summer pass for three three ninety nine. I'm going to pass. $399 huh? anywhere you want to fly Frontier. I don't want to fly anywhere Frontier. Oh, for three hundred and ninety nine dollars, anywhere you want to go for a summer, I think there will be some people to think about it. Yeah, dog. A lot of some people. people that I'm about to go buy has this to shit. be helpful to somebody. <laughs> what y'all talking about? Yes, y'all. That's nah, first class. Niggas. I'm, with I'm you, on frontier, but yeah, that information the, the is going to be helpful to somebody. We'll get on Me, frontier. Back <laughs> that shit gonna be packed out. Frontier, Yo, back, back tier, tier, side, side tier, tier, crazy, nigga. Three ninety nine. Look, and we still won't take a group trip. A bunch trip. of niggas here. A bunch of niggas here. <laughs> oh, no, we take we still won't take a group trip. No, yeah, look, look at y'all. Look what y'all doing. I'm y'all who I'm downloading the frontier salute, app as salute, we speak. Salute I was about to go to L. A. with Parks tomorrow. Look, look, yeah. Frontier, come on, frontier. Man. You say never been. You never been there. Never. You gotta do shit and record it. Like do it. First class. Right, right. Drop, fly on frontier. It's okay. Nah, I was gonna go to the Grammys. Are you seriously you joking? I was. No, I was. You I should. Why you didn't go? My you should have went. My girl said she needed me. Oh, God. Ooh. Respect. 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 Oh, you wasn't bringing her? <laughs> she got work. Really? But now I was going to go to the ground. <laughs> yeah, you got to stop buying real flowers, yo. <laughs> oh, the fake, the fake flowers let fake, you get that off. Fake, 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 fake flowers, I got Fake flowers should let you live. Yeah, might have some, man. Fake flowers, goddammit. Where I find this damn pass that y'all talking Look, about, bro? You at work. <laughs> oh, my bad. <laughs> Yo, cause shit like that goes so quick. You can't look right now. Yo, oh, think man. I'm uh, I got $3.99. I'm going to holler at y'all. Also, also, uh, <laughs> Floyd Mayweather. Speaking of Vegas. It, speaking of Vegas, yo, boys, boys the pod. Floyd Mayweather has a fight coming up on Zeus. I'm there. I will repeat. All I Floyd need to Floyd Mayweather. That's it. Is fighting on Zeus. Yes. Who's he fighting? I don't, don't care. Don't matter. I don't care. <laughs> some, some nobody, I nigga. I don't know who he's fuck. fighting. But Floyd has made this announcement. Say less. He also said that Zeus has the bag and are cutting checks. Mm. I knew that just from Floyd talking about Zeus. I think he might own half of Zeus now. I say they probably get some equity. He's probably they are probably about it. There's a couple of people I think own some equity in Zeus. Floyd got most of it now. Oh yeah, <laughs> yo Floyd got y'all shares. Y'all share that fifteen percent. Yeah, Floyd is doing the y'all people sequel. Yo, Ice need to, Ice <laughs> need to have a job at Zeus. Fam, Ice talk about Zeus. I'm like watching he, Zeus all like weekend. he Roman a Greek. <laughs> yeah, this nigga, yo. Yeah, what do you do all, all the gay baddie shows? He be watching no. like the bad boy hubbies of the <laughs> never seen it. Hubbies that's of the you that south. Came here talking about that hubbies one. of the south. Look, 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 uh -huh, look, look yeah, look. yeah. I remember they got a show for uh, him. Come on, come on, come on. Please, please. <laughs> please. Yeah, <laughs> no, nah, they do. They do. Floyd, I see you getting money, man. Yeah, Salute yeah, yeah. Shout out to money, Floyd. May. Tom Brady retires again. Three seventy five for oh. ten years. He's going on to do. He said he said he made three twenty three his whole entire NFL career for twenty something years. This was right. He should have just retired then. Nah, that ain't the story to me, though. Then. That wasn't the story to me. Giselle's response was the story to me. That said, his ex wife? She said, wishing you only wonderful things in this new chapter of your life. Oh, she doesn't wish him well at all. <laughs> I think she does. And, and that's hate. I think she wishes him that's well. That's hate. No, that's not. That's hate. It is hate. 
Oh. New chapter of your of life. Your life. Of your life, nigga. That's what I'm saying. Your the, life. The, the, the new you chapter your of life. your life. Yeah, all right, yeah. then why my old chapter keep talking? <laughs> no, you, you want to go ahead and start a new book, Dodo. Mm-hmm. Start a new book. So why you get to keep talking about no, nah, I don't I'm like congratulating that. my ex. Stop and, it, and, and and I like she just left That's it as like, a little, she left it as a little in, in the in the IG comments. Mm. Nigga, if your I ain't ex, even, I ain't if even your ex is just popped up and started congratulating you on current affairs, a new conversation would have to happen. Same with me if fucking <laughs> them old bums just start popping up. Talking, <laughs> chill out, chill out. Talk about, yo, I knew, I always knew he would be the best potter in this new chapter. He's killing shit. Bitch, shut up. <laughs> you from 20 years ago. I'm killing without you. This is current shit, though, bro. Dang, <laughs> current. You wrote it. You just wrote, got divorced. They got a divorce yeah. just Two in a year. Ago. We got divorced over me playing the game. Shut your fucking mouth. And, and now, now you're you not playing the game no more, dodo. stupid. You left your family and you ain't even get a ring, you asshole. I got kicked out early. I don't think he feels stupid. Nah, no, he might feel a little stupid. Nah, he should feel a little stupid. I don't think he does. Nah, nah, I've seen this to work. I've seen a few clips of him and his oldest son. <laughs> and his newer son, newer daughter? Yo. His, his new Yami. Yo. Hey. Salute. Because hey. hey. all y'all going to do is hey. mute it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah all y'all going to do is mute it. You're not going there. I ain't going nowhere. Don't stand on the edge. All you going to do is mute it. I hired you, so we didn't have to yeah. go there. Right, so what, you want me to say it? So jump yeah, off the way then, pirate. He looking, what, what you mean? He looking crazy with his son. All that kissing on the mouth, all that massage. Right, we got it, we got it. We got it. <laughs> never mind, never mind. All right, we got it. All right, all right, you, all right, cool. Hey, you got paid. Uh, advance coming. <laughs> it's coming. Job done. You write that down, too? Now the job is done, buddy. Nah, you got it. Right. Oh, no, no, me... you, you can get canceled <laughs> and go back to network flipping or whatever you be doing. Yo, stop. All right, that was fucked up. That was fucked up. <laughs> you know what's sad? The laughing makes it worse. Now, let me say, let me nah, say I'm this. I'm sorry. No, no, no. I'm going to say this. <laughs> I'm going to say this. It's a shame a nigga try to laugh when I came here and spiced this shit up with you, nigga. Nah, that's that shit. That's that shit. That's that shit. That's with my brothers, ass, nigga. Right? Stop playing with me. That's true. I know my value. That's true. Uh huh. When your Patreon drop and tell them. <laughs> yeah. T- tomorrow, 8 p.m. <laughs> <laughs> How many patrons you got over there? You got some niggas over there? Oh, shit. We doing announcements, huh? What you oh, got, get man? Shit off. Nah. Yeah. I got a new show on Caffeine. Hey! Shout out to Caffeine. Shout out to the people uh, with Caffeine. Big Ice. Here, baby. Big Freeze. Big, yeah, why big you invite show. my man over? Because you know, Big Freeze. They got the picture of you and him. They talk about when it's going to happen. Okay, let me get that. Let me get that caffeine what money. You mean with you in the picture of me and him doing what? Oh, you see the. the, the <laughs> I'm with my <laughs> you didn't see the beard of the eye before. I'm just saying. Oh, I saw uh, that. Big freeze, freeze in library. Stupid, stupid. Freeze. No, this is just freeze. This is just freeze. This is this is just freeze. This is just freeze over here. <laughs> stupid, yo. Yeah, new show on caffeine, what man. Sundays, What's the show called? Sunday, Sunday. This one is called Chilling with Ice. Okay. Good. Salute. Salute. Yeah, we on caffeine now. So. It's a uh, live stream type mm-hmm. of thing? Nice. First uh, show will be first show will be this Sunday, seven PM. Huh? Mm-hmm. Quick, quick. Oh yeah, no, no, no. They 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 got right to it. No. Oh. That's it. That's all you need. That's something like a little free. You know, something like <laughs> Huh? You're pretty I like good. That. I like that. Yeah, I like that. I like that one. That's kind of hard, too. Yeah, you need to go ahead and still like it. You need to go ahead and still like it. Yeah, you got to still like it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's fire. They cut it right off. Yeah. That's it. That's he it. He's pretty good. Yeah. That, that boy good. good. Yeah, I'm bad. on that. That ain't bad right now. I hate that hat though. That boy good. <laughs> that hat look crazy. <laughs> like a pilgrim. Still like a flattened bottle cap. Yeah. Nigga. <laughs> you got to know when to hold on. Stupid ass hat. Funny shit, this is probably my favorite hat, if not one of my favorite hats. We can tell. You wore it a lot of times, dummy. <laughs> Some things are my favorite. I use them a lot. We can tell. Like these pants. I like those socks. Damn. Oh, wait, you trying to roast right nah, now? Nah, I ain't trying to roast. Nah, you my man. No, I don't do that. Yeah. Yeah, because he, he... I'm on it because I'm on this pizza merch. I, 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 I am. I am. I'm on this pizza <laughs> shop merch you got on. You know, I, I get the free slices and I give them out to the homies. And this fucking fake MCM belt you wearing. <laughs> Fake what? Yeah, this is nasty. I don't and you got a car. You this took. This is disgusting. You took a carpet to your local seamstress and had them <laughs> sew me, sew me up. You, you can do whatever you want. What size shoe you wear? With, with them dirty ass t shirts you what's, be wearing. What size That's shoe the you same t shirt you, you, you free you balling. But what's Ten and a half. All right. I'm just checking. I'm just checking. <laughs> don't, don't like, what? You know what these? Come on, stop playing. I don't want no problems with you, yo. <laughs> we done? We are. Those All are right. shit from that guy that. Uh, forget it. 
That guy. So that guy. So damn. Shout out to Don't disrespect that guy. Shout out to that guy. Shout out to that guy. That guy. You go. Yeah, we not doing that. Shout out. Yeah, all right. It's I hate when niggas try to get free shit by doubling. Stop doubling that. You want? We know you want free shit. I know. He know we want free shit. I got free shit. No, he got free shit too. You know what to do. Salah, my man. What you want me to do? The library. It's my guy. It's my guy. Let me see what else is important here. Floyd fighting on Zeus. That's crazy. That is, Tom that is Brady very important. Retires again. I don't know if I want to have this LeBron conversation here on Patreon, but LeBron, uh, now the tickets to the Thunder game, Thunder mm-hmm. versus the Lakers, are like seven grand. <laughs> yeah, I nigga. bet. So I want to be there with yeah. They trying to time it. This is no different than the home run record. Mm-hmm. He's already pat. He's al- he's now fourth on the all time assist list. Mm. Oh damn! I'm just coming. I don't want to hear no more about none of them other athletes. <laughs> yeah, That's I, me personally. I, I, true. The conversation for Joe Budden, only me. No, and Ice is over with. I don't want to hear Kareem smoking on that Kareem pack. It's what? a good pack. That Skyhook pack. <laughs> We smoking on the Skyhook pack. <laughs> all this, <laughs> hey, all that shit was cool. All that shit you broke the record at eighty four. That shit we smoking on that Kareem pack. That Mike Pat Mike ain't even top three on the scoring list. So I don't know why they keep hyping him up. We smoke. Well, I don't like. I don't understand it. Where's Mike at on the assist? I don't talk to him. Talk to him about that. Talk to him about that. I'm, you know what, I mean? the rings? That's what you're doing. The rings, that's what you're doing. I don't rings. even want to talk about that. Uh, yeah, yeah. I don't want to hear nothing that's about you rings. You no doing that? Yo, this is what I'll say. Hey, Corey don't have a mic, so we don't even have to acknowledge his presence. He don't this believe in the Lord, a higher power. What? <laughs> this is what I'll say, and I'm shutting up. Michael Jordan is the greatest marketing trick to ever happen, yo. Oh, shit. It's the greatest whoa, marketing whoa, trick to ever happen. Whoa. Greatest marketing trick to ever happen. back a little bit. I was out there with you. Greatest marketing trick to ever happen. Hold on now. This is what I'm saying. And then you can respond. This is what I'm saying. Pre-Michael Jordan, and if I start getting too obnoxious, then somebody let's move me on. <laughs> <laughs> I think you are okay, right. Go, go, go on edge. Go on no, edge. No, I have an argument to support what All I'm right, saying. I, I want to hear it. Come on. Pre-Michael Jordan, who were the dominant guards in the league? All time. You, we ain't got to go through Magic, Magic. Oscar. I, you could probably name him on one hand. Pistol Pete. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You probably can't get past 10 dominant guards all time. The reason for that, in my opinion, is, you know, the league always highlighted the big man. Mm-hmm. Yes. I think before they knew any be- before they knew any better, the big man was how you, you know, all that lethargic, throw it in, that's how you get a championship. Yeah, it's shape. also, um, as far as, like, the mystique, no one, not everyone can do this. Like, yeah, not this everyone is, can be seven no, feet No, tall. not everyone yeah. can be seven foot. It's true, right? So let's take that. Enter Michael Jordan. Michael Jordan comes into not only a weak Eastern Conference, but an Eastern Conference where everybody is on coke. (laughs) A league, rather, where everybody's on coke. They admitted to this, Mm -hmm. right? While he was over there doing that, Bird and Magic was fighting it out. Like in the whole 80s, they had to fight it out for the best player shit. Mike was over there somewhere learning how to play, learning how to score. By the time he started taking the spotlight from them old niggas, they was just that. Old niggas. In the dream team, Doc, you see it. The niggas ain't won nothing to do with Michael Jordan. He was the man. He took it, right? And then marketing takes over. Because you need a face of the league. David Stern, genius. Michael Jordan now becomes the fucking face of the league. But... Still in the 90s, what other dominant guards was there? I get Isaiah Thomas in 90, 89, 90, 91. But after that, he was sitting there just dominating these big, slow, bum-ass centers. I'm calling them that, but they wasn't no, bums. Legends. I know what you mean. They I wasn't bums. I get what you're saying. But that's what he did. And he dominated, and nobody was able to get a ring while Michael Jordan played. He was the best we had ever seen. This is where my LeBron argument starts. <clears throat> when LeBron got there... Guards got there, <laughs> and a lot of them, and they were more athletic. The rules changed too, but mm-hmm. they were a lot more athletic, and you had to deal with them in their prime. Swings and prime mellow, prime Durant, prime Steph. Anybody who was great, D Wade. He had to deal with them in their prime. Nowitzki even, even though they'll knock him for all those trips to the finals without winning, but. 
NBA GMs were literally building teams to, to only deal with LeBron James. He had to deal with prime Tim Duncan and Pop. Didn't he go to, like, how, how many Easter Conference Finals he went to, like? A bunch. A bunch. It, was, it was a bunch. Like, I don't know. He, he, I'm just saying, sheer, sheerly by the people that he had to face still and what he's done and what he's still doing at 38, he shouldn't be averaging 30 points a game at 38 years old. Like, the tenure in which we've seen him dominate, we've never seen nothing like that before. So, yeah, I'll call Mike maybe the greatest scorer that I've ever seen, maybe, because I don't even know if he's that. You know, it's a key thing you said that, you know, the, the league got But when so it comes to LeBron... Yeah, but I yeah, but fourth on the assist list. I yeah, don't but care. the league got softer for everybody. Though. I don't care what the like, rules that's, are. That's why. I, that's the reason why I don't like that argument. When you say when people be like, "Oh, the league is softer, the game has Come changed." On, man. You know, okay, there's still a bunch of people that the league it ain't just get softer. But if you six nine two seventy and you built like a tank, you jump out the gym and you run like an antelope. Who you shouldn't does be the fourth in assists. <laughs> that's like his basketball see, mind. So what we're gonna uh, hold his physical gift against him pause if no and he ain't the only one that's built like that true that's what i'm saying there's other people with that physique that no. don't do what he do you can't name me three people in nba history to have lebron james's athleticism at his size great that's why he's <laughs> like, that's why he's that's what so the fact that there are no big men the game has gone away from big men there's big men there's at the beginning men. of his career Pause. Dominant. Shaq played. One. Ben Wallace. Defensive player. You got to deal with him in the middle. I'm going to say two. Tim Duncan. LeBron's his size. There. It was guard city. It was guard <laughs> like, city, city in, foot. The, in the 2000s. 160 pounds. I'm playing, but I'm just, I'm, what I'm saying is the physicality of the game has diminished. That's true. He is physical. Mm -hmm. So it, it's a game. To, I'm not knocking what LeBron has accomplished because you can't. Mm. But the game suits him more now because the game is less physical, and he being a physical specimen he is, is, dog, do you see they be bumping off of him? We go to the hole, they just be like ping pong balls. So I'm not knocking them. The assist thing, it's an argument to be had. Um, what argument? What is the argument? LeBron the is LeBron. Thing? What's the argument? I'm not going to knock LeBron because LeBron is LeBron. Um, what I can say is LeBron is one of the only players that came into the basketball game, and they just threw him a ball and said, yo, the team is yours. Do what you want to do. Not many people could say that. You don't think you heard that? Like, like, day like one. I mean, it was an, enough of. It was day one, huh? But I'm just saying it's an, it was enough around that they would they saw something that will mm -hmm. had them willing to say, "Hey, you know what?" And, and he, I'm took, ready to hang it all on. And this it was thing. Cleveland, like and he, he took the ball. They didn't have that many options. And, there. and Cleveland, you know what I mean, he took no the ball. And even Cleveland, still, obviously. though, he be, in he that example, right? Because yeah, the issue's right. The game ball, do what you want. But I still had a locker room of people that was totally against me, totally against them drafting me. The one Told, that they, the one that was really against them, they traded. It wasn't just him. Like, yo, well, they traded everybody. Ricky, so. Ricky Davis was like, "Yo, finally, I got some help." But Ricky Davis, <laughs> like, what's our huh? Darius Miles? Help. Uh, I want to say <laughs> Doug Christie. Help you pack your bags, money. Money. Like they got rid of all the niggas, but all of them there was like, I mean, he cool, <laughs> but. Whatever. It was I'm, a lot of marketing around Brian before he even got to the league. Like, even the whole King James, yeah, all sure. of that. Like, it was no, a lot of that. It's but the same thing still, we it's what we see right now. It. But he, he still he surpassed up, every expectation that's that's he put on him. He still had We've never before. seen that before. We no matter what, we've he never still had the We've never seen that. I don't care I, who it has been. Nobody has lived up to their hype and surpassed their hype. We and see they that, did it for 20 years. We see and that with Zion right part. now. We <laughs> see it with Zion part. now. Yep. I remember before Zion with your generational talent. Yeah. You see, I ain't seen that word said so much yeah. up until the Zion. LeBron part. has lived up to and surpassed every single expectation put upon him. And did it with duration. Pause again. And no, dog. That he matters. had 20 years, no key injuries. Yeah. 18 years without a key injury. Mm -hmm. That matters. Um, and then you, you talk about the internal things of basketball. LeBron became a GM. He's the first person that we've seen become a GM playing Fact. Mm -hmm. and take his career into his well, own hands. That's against the law, but you know what we mean. Yeah. yeah. No, no, no. Again, no. They, they... That's King Tampa right there. No, <laughs> even outside of tampering, dog, we've Tamper never seen bad. somebody... Well, he has an agency. <laughs> he, got, he has an yeah. agency that yeah. controls... 70% of the stars in the NBA. <laughs> no, it ain't that much, but there's a lot of them. No, the stars. Oh, star. I don't know. I didn't, I didn't go through the roster. But no, they, LeBron, is, I'm, all, I'm, all I'm saying is for me. He's him. Once he gets one. I wouldn't say the Michael Jordan shit, but he's him. I don't even think Michael Jordan is a fair comparison for my, LeBron James anymore. Like, it, it should have been magic maybe the whole time. It ain't Mike. Mike and LeBron shouldn't be 
they only compared because they both what faces they are. Of, faces yeah. of the league. That's why they get compared. Yeah. But That's LeBron, why. as far as a player, uh, moving on. Moving on. Smoking on that uh, Skyhook pack tonight. <laughs> hey, and Kareem home mad about it, too. Oh, he's oh, hot. And he home what? mad about he it. He is hot. Well, you shouldn't have said that slick shit about Kyrie. You said a lot of slick shit he about a lot of people. Hot. people. Like, Kareem be talking greasy about some of these new niggas. Yeah, he yeah. one of the old niggas that don't fuck with the new niggas. Yeah. Smoking old, on old that Razzle dazzle. Get Smoking that on that sky. Hey, man, <laughs> tonight. Hey, he might Razzle. smack up a couple of these new niggas too. Oh, beat. Oh, listen, seven feet or seven feet. Oh, yeah. Seven feet. <laughs> no matter karate. how old you are. Karate. Yeah, that too. Uh, let's see. I don't have anything else that I have to get off of my heart. I'm okay. Is there anything up here? Let's oh. see. Beyonce, Drake, Tom Brady, Daylight, Nike. Yeah, we pretty much there. I miss yeah. Mel, yo. I do. I miss yeah. Mel. <laughs> so we're going to save the erotic chefs for Patreon? I so. Yeah, go ahead. Get your shit off. Yeah, you were supposed to get it off. Yeah, you I'm, I'm tired of these trash. erotic chefs. That's you know, right. I'm tired. First of all, we know that the masseuses, the erotic masseuses are fucking a lot of your niggas' girls. Oh. Um, you know, I interviewed one of them, and he said initially that he wasn't kissing. He wasn't doing anything. He was just being erotic. <laughs> then we got receipts on a nigga slapping ass, kissing, and giving hickeys. You know what I'm saying? So you allow your, your woman to go out there and... Participate in this type of shenanigans. Now we got niggas, <laughs> so, an erotic you said, you chef. Said, you said you are finger allowing popping. your woman. That's what you said. Excuse me. You said you allowing your woman. Oh, pardon me. I don't want to use the word. Allow. Thank you very. For, yeah, yeah, yeah. Allowing you your woman. Oh, yeah, yeah. Good luck. Hold me down. Hold me down. <laughs> now you got this erotic chef, finger popping salmon Sa in front. Salmon. Okay. Thank you. We holding. We got you. Finger <laughs> popping and say, because you told me to say that, I, I, I'm going to fuck you up. <laughs> I, I, you, you, you set me up for the kill, but it's niggas like you that got, no, nah, I ain't going to say that. You got your fucking woman sitting in front of a guy, he's finger popping salmon. Salmon. We knew we was going to get there when the he's, salt bay niggas he's started. putting the grapes in her mouth with the juice dripping down the like, we and choking her. We not playing. With a the grape dude juice. Is there, he's choking her? Yeah, there's dudes there. Let me just tell you something. I want you to hit me. That's, that's me and my man cuckery. Library on the same page. Break the eighth wall. Break the eighth wall right I'm now. breaking the knife wall. Talk no difference. Huh? If my wife come in, if one of her raggedy, dusty ass friends decide to have that nigga over there, because they don't eat waffles at night, and she have syrup <laughs> on her sleeve, it's hell in paradise. I'm not playing. What you doing with syrup on your sleeve? Huh? If, if, if one of my wife, dusty ass, dirty ass friends decide to have this nigga there, finger popping salmon with syrup, there's no waffles. <laughs> Me and Library, we coming and we shaking shit up. That's my man. I said, no spandex neither. <laughs> <laughs> don't, even, don't even bring grapes. <laughs> don't bring grapes. <laughs> That's ridiculous. If a though. dude is standing there letting another man put a grape in her mouth. Absolutely not. He might want grapes in his mouth. When you, when you put, he might be a cuck. Or whatever that word is. That's it. It's you cuck. It's cuck. Yeah, yeah, it's cuck. A cuck hold. Because we not we not like a wild out if somebody feeds. Feed. We not like our brother right here who allowed niggas to watch his girl huh? in the dr. We not like him. He, he got too much pride. He Joe Button. <laughs> Joe Button. Nah, nah. We not that. <laughs> I'm not with that. You what, what you looking at, nigga? Uh, <laughs> I know. I, let, come on, Lobby, roll me down on this one. I'm I'm like you, nobody, let me know when you finish so I could jump I'm in. I saw you, please. <laughs> He's right. <laughs> I went to DR and I did that and everybody's not like me. But everybody here has unique characteristics about themselves, especially when it comes to the opposite sex. Mm -hmm. Like, I never bought a bunk bed. <laughs> I never bought a bunk bed for a girl. I never bought a TV for a girl. <laughs> I never rented a U-Haul hey! truck to deliver these items to a girl. Like, how sick you gotta be to buy a bunk bed for a, where you go? <laughs> Let's finish talking. He went to Ikea. Let's, right, let's, let's finish talking. I'm a ball. All right, let's finish this. talking. Right, talk about it. Because you brought up my Puerto Rico, my DR. I, I, I didn't like that. Shit you talked about, like about you privately. You was a sucker I talked for to you love privately. ass nigga. I didn't like what you did. I didn't you like what you did that. You was a sucker for love ass nigga. You went to Bob's Furniture. You allow a nigga to watch your girl <laughs> and sat there and watch him because you was shook, nigga. I got it, but what don't about- Don't touch me. Talk about the bunk beds now. I don't talk about stuff like that because that's not true. <laughs> I shared accusations that I was accused of. You was accused of buying a bunk bed. I was accused of buying a bunk bed. Did, for, you, did you go? Did you go watch the interview for, that they talked about me for about? For a young lady. Yeah. You, did, did you watch? Did you buy a bunk bed? I did watch it. Hey, flip. You, did, you went to I watch. Did, yeah, I watched everything. Flip. You bought an arm. You bought, you bought, you bought it. 
No, I did not. <laughs> oh, <laughs> oh. He, he bought the set. <laughs> the bunk bed and the armoire. Now nah, you was going nah. crazy for Shorty. You went crazy for sure. You I'm, liked her though. Hey, yo, you hired a U-Haul like to that. take it to her? Can I tell you something? Tell he asked you a question. <laughs> No, okay. let me respond yes. to my brother. That's a lie. <laughs> and while we're uncovering the flip lies, we found the book sound scan. <laughs> oh, did. yeah. We found the sound scan on his book. I lied. He lied. He did, did. not sell 40,000 copies in a week. I sold 20,000 in two years. All right. That's no very different. Very That's still good, though, man. Yeah, That's still you. good. Thank and you. on the cover of the book, it said 14,000 or something. So, <laughs> Listen, eight, 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 yeah, something but, but there was another one with 10,000. I kept updating. Oh, you just yeah. kept changing the cover? <laughs> oh, my God. At the same time, what though, sick, Mr. Though. Trickington, yeah. sucker for love. <laughs> Let me, <laughs> Mr. Trickington. You was buying cars and shit. You was on your Benzino shit. You was doing a I lot of sucker shit for strippers. I never bought you, anybody. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Don't lie, though. No, you was doing a lot of sucker shit. I know about you. Huh? But don't lie. Yeah. I didn't buy any, a stripper or a car. What you was doing? I never bought no stripper no what car. You, what you was doing with them? You put some down with payment strippers? money down? <laughs> what are you doing? A bump bed is $300, nigga. $400. You putting out a five, you giving bitches deposits for houses. Here, take this 10 pack right here and go put, that you're not seeing again. Did you sleep in that bed? A home is not a home. <laughs> yo, he asked you a question, yo. He asked you a question. He asked you, he asked you a question. question. I don't know what he's asking me. I'm of course just you don't. He of said, course. did you put did a you down give, did you payment give, you give on her the somebody pack? a car or a house? Or a house. My mind's telling me no. <laughs> but my wallet. <laughs> my wallet is telling me yes. I mean, did she save it up? <laughs> did, did, she, did she save up? Oh, <laughs> I don't know. I didn't give her no money for that. But if she did that, hey, you got, Why you went to go you got discipline, that? girl. <laughs> Yo, I talked to you. We, you we, a good girl. Oh, you 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 turned up on me. I respect it. All right, watch this. C O E and and C O F F. C O F F. C O F F. E O E. Emotions over everything too. Content over flips feelings. <laughs> everything, over, over everything. everything over emotions. I mean, it's in the back. <laughs> Yeah, I'm done. I'm done. That was fire. I don't have nothing else. Man. I lied about my book. So what? I'm from Queens. <laughs> Web and Nitty era. We lied about a lot of shit. You, you lied about being <laughs> <laughs> You lied about being <laughs> Queens. You lied about yeah, being from be Queens. You be dragging these niggas' nigga, names through the mud. Nigga lied about that. being pro black. Oh my oh, god! Shit. You just lied about man. Nah, baby, hold on, lie, baby. Yeah, son, you got white people tatted on you. I do. I do. God. And you hang out with white people. That's the difference. You got God's son across <laughs> you. You hang out with him too, perfect. Man, such a you, had, you had oh. Jesus, sand, hold on. You had Jesus sandals on sitting on a rock with white people, nigga, by the, by the, by the beach. You think they didn't send me that picture? I mean, Looking like a in Italy. It was a white person there? Huh? <laughs> Hello. Uh, it was a white person. <laughs> it was a white person there? You had your feet all out like looking stupid. Who took the picture? Mm -hmm. Not a, not a black person. Me and Mario. <laughs> Mario black person nigga. took the picture. You Luigi ass nigga too. Uh, the journal he eat. Ass nigga, you, you mad because you ain't oh, never Oh, my, my. You never, what left you, farm, you never left farmers in Linden. That's why you mad. Oh, shit. Oh, That's all right. I did. I did. See, he's stunned on I did. He's stunned on Stamped you. I went to Barcelona. I know. I bet you did. You went to that church there? You need to. Wow. <laughs> A lot of your people in there. Who are my people? <laughs> Catholics. Mm. I, no. <laughs> Yo, <laughs> what the you got them tatted on your stomach. I got Catholic. You can't, don't say that. I got Catholics. You guys, I, got, I, got, I got Curtis from part of the show here. Hey, oh, Curtis. Curtis. My what's man, Curtis. what's happening, Kurt? See money. Curtis. Curtis says, hey, guys, I've been a part of part of the show for a year. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> hey, hey, yo, Kurt. gang. <laughs> hey, you said, hey, send in 10 questions. <laughs> a year. <laughs> Hey guys, I've been part of the part of the show uh, for a year and I have a question for the crew. Mel, do you ever want kids? Or, Mel's not here, so I'll skip that. Fellas, how would you feel if your woman made more money than you in a relationship? It's and lit. do you think you can have a healthy, sustainable relationship yes. with a woman making more money? <laughs> why or me. why not? <laughs> Love the show. Yes. Hope to get a call. Oh. I'm going to call him. You got him? Let's call the guy. See yeah, let's see what he talking see, about. Man, Kurt talking. Flirt. Is this lightning adapter connected to a pair of headphones? No. Oh, uh, yes. All the devices. Put yes. Hit yes. Headphones? Yes. yes. Yeah, just hit yes. And call this nigga up. What's Duke's name? Curtis. 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 Kurt Flirt. Let's hear what Curtis is talking. I ain't even text him or nothing. He's just calling. Good luck. Bold if you answer that shit. Yeah, Kurt don't play. Ice don't play. <laughs> Who the fuck is this? Nope. 
All right, can I speak to Curtis? Curtis! Curtis! Joe you know, Button Collection you know, Agency. All right, call Curtis, him. I'm done with you. I'm done with you, bro. Oh, no, I don't want to talk to him that bad. No, it's been a year. Let me text Man, him. Man, I'm about to say that. Let me text him. Text him. Let me text the guy with a little yo. We're going to answer him anyway, though. Uh, all right. This is the JBP. JBP. Hey, where would you be without All the right, what was this guy's question? Uh, Can we handle women making more money than us in our relationships? Oh, we didn't need to call him that question. Yeah. Absolutely. Absolutely. Yeah, That's fine. Yeah. I could we, we yeah. give him a call. I prefer it. Same. <laughs> what the fuck? Same. I, I wish you would make more money what? than me. Yeah, now, we really get, now we really get some equality going. Word. Let's go. You make more. Buy me some nice shit. Some Chanel. <laughs> right. My girl tried it. She moving. So she's filling out applications. Shit, right? A few of them tried to get at her. It's like, yo, you might need a co-signer. I was like, baby, don't even stress that. I'll co-sign for you. I got you. <laughs> She called back. She said, yeah, all you need to do is let us know how much you're making. I was like, what? <laughs> what? <laughs> what? <laughs> Spitty, just, just tell him 400. <laughs> no. Just, just tell him 400. That ain't the place. <laughs> Let's just go somewhere else. else. Yeah, I'm sorry. You, you got to call an honor somebody now. <laughs> no, we're going to just tell I, him. I asked Parks this a couple pods ago. He just mm -hmm. lied to me, so I'll ask the rest of y'all. Everybody girl here know exactly what they make? No. No. Same. No. No, it's not a question. She just know we good. <laughs> not a question. Yeah, she just know we good. That's it. <laughs> yeah, you see this fucking we just when the moon hits the sky, like a pizza pie. That's the morning. I got you, yo. Fuck that nigga. Yeah. Yeah. Nah. He's so phony. <laughs> I'm phony. <laughs> yo, you're the biggest betrayer, nigga. <laughs> I am. At two brute ass nigga. The sooner everybody learns that. At two brute. Brute. Yo, don't come with your Rod Stewart. I don't shit. know, yeah. yeah. No, no homie, you don't know what that is? You don't know what that is? Real talk? You? He killed Julius C. He stabbed yeah, that's the jab And that's what he said when he stabbed Caesar in the back. Yeah, in the he back. He said him at two Brute, yeah. Was he yeah, in meaning you two Brutus? Was that's, he in Goodfellas? Uh, no. <laughs> Chill out, man. Word. That's, that's Julius casino? Caesar. Bro. What's wrong with you niggas? Uh, that's another one of them whites they try to ingrain in my head from school. Nigga, I don't know nothing about Julius Brutus. Caesar. I'm, I'm shocked. Julius it's Caesar. Not going to tell. I forget it. I'm that's a naked white man, too, wearing some leaves on his head. I'm about to say, you try to pretend. You try to be down with them niggas. Yo. Who? Dogs. I try to be down with naked white men or you. <laughs> oh. 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 But uh, Curtis, the, my answer to your question is yes. Yes, yes, absolutely. absolutely. Yeah. I would love. Yeah, yeah we would all for love her that. to make more. Just don't emasculate me. See, now that was the question you should ask. That, yeah, yeah. <laughs> but because they're gonna emasculate us. No, they're not. Not if you making money too. You know what I'm saying? Or not if you just. Put it down, I don't know man. what you talking about. <laughs> if you making money too, all right? She make more money now. What? If she make five hundred, you make three fifty. You get emasculated. Yeah, you have yeah, your yeah. mask in mind. Bye. I think you are. Holla. I think you get emasculated. Sweetie, I'm good over she here. She start turning TV over when she want, <laughs> slamming the fridge, yeah. <laughs> telling you to cook, <laughs> dropping shit on the floor like this. Telling you you can't wear spandex yeah. in the house. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> nigga, take them. Now you off. can't wear spandex. Yeah. <laughs> you going outside with that shit again? You got to throw all your Lululemon away. Yeah, talk to that nigga. <laughs> Lululemon ass nigga, lemony Lewis all ass nigga. All your little nigga. foo foo lemon. When the moon hits the sky, <laughs> it's the morning. It's the morning. Get that nigga, that prego ass nigga. Uh, uh, Curtis, I hope we were able to help. Mm -hmm. Send some more questions. Nah, you got to send something. I'll answer your questions anymore. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Send, a, send a tougher question in, Curtis. Yeah, yeah. Something more send a tougher question. Curtis! Uh, let's see, let's see, let's see. I want to talk about uh, uh, region privilege and burger privilege. Mm. Oh, with okay. this whole in and out burger trying to expand, but I'm going to save it for Patreon. in and out need to expand in the garbage. But I'm going to say I'm going to save it for yeah. Patreon. Though. That's they what they need to expand. They better that. keep their ass out in the Northeast. <laughs> nah, they coming. They, they better not they, bring their ass over here. They, they, they coming this way. They're going to get a fast They're going to realize. They're coming at a fast They're going to be in and out. <laughs> oh, good one! Wow! Hey, yeah, look at ice. The free the way. Way. Let, Let me go around over here if you want to. Rude away. You got some real burgers, burger spots out here. You going crazy. <laughs> <laughs> I like that shit. I ain't old. I ain't mad at it. That's it. I ain't. No, that's it. That's all you that's need. It. Don't worry. That's it. I'm chopping yeah, it up. Yeah, now he's got to go find his own drop. Now you can't keep uh, cloud chasing off ice name in the that's, drop. That's what I was doing. <laughs> 
I don't know if that's what you was doing, but listen to the drop and tell me if it sound like that. New ice and ice. Why is ice name first mm. in that? Anyway. I guess she she said ice that, she said it that way. Well, yeah. C comes. From, oh, it's fine. Uh, <laughs> do we have sleepers? Do yeah, I have sir. something that I think the people may have been sleeping on? This went crazy last week. Yeah, yeah that, that was, was my, that was ridiculous. That was also that dude's best song. <laughs> hate when that happens. <laughs> And that was hate. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> that was hate, right? Mm-hmm. That was something. Nah, you don't. Say. I like hate no issue. You don't say. I do. Who would have thunk? <laughs> you knew that. Poquito. You one of my favorite people to hate on. Actually, yeah. <laughs> you're so fun to hate on. <laughs> Let's see here. Listen, guys. Real good, efficient episode today. I am so proud of everyone here. We are really them. Can we get lunch on you today? I thought all the lunches was on me. <laughs> what? I don't pay for everybody's lunch? Well, that's a mistake. You got to let me know next time, y'all. <laughs> 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 Yo, next time y'all ordering, all you got to do is hit me. I'll be right there. What's cool? We ain't ordering We yet, only so have one edit today. We only have, usually we have six edits. We did real good today. We need lunch. This nigga keeping a fucking pod pod progress report. <laughs> a podgress report. Sheet. Yeah. Po- Yo, the I last time. Look, 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 look. Yeah, I better shut up. <laughs> Yo. <laughs> doom, doom, Parts doom. Come on, flip. Doom, doom, come on, doom. come on. Hey, hey, let's send this out of here the right uh, way, y'all. All right, let's go. Let's we go. We out of here. Come on, flip. Now we doing it. We here. Uh-oh. It go, I get so weak in the knees, I can hardly speak. I lose control. It takes over me. Amazing. Stay with me. I swallow my pride. Your love is so sweet. Knocks me right off of my feet. Hit it, hit it. Can't explain why your love it makes me weak. Let's get it. All right, ladies and gentlemen. This was a really good pod today. Hopefully, y'all enjoyed it as much as we enjoyed delivering it to you. Escape. This next line is why y'all can't close. Look. <laughs> Look, this whole verse actually is why y'all can't close. Bitches was losing their minds when this was out. Yeah, around night. Life is fading. She was suicidal. <laughs> Please expect the condition. I don't want to be alone. You know, All right, yo, keep us in your prayers. Lord knows we need to be there. Until the next time, I bid you adieu. Farewell. Hasta la vista. Adios. Arrivederci. Au revoir. So long. Goodbye. Remember, life is a series of moments and moments past. So let's make this one last. As if it's all we have. Take it away, Flip. T.I. go hit this nigga up. I can hardly speak. I lose. I lose all control. Right, I'm done with you. So uh, y'all hold it down. We'll be back same time, same place. It is so amazing. Remember, lastly, the baddies are insecure. The stagnant woman wanted to take over me. I my pride. My pride. It knocks me right off of my feet. The baddies are insecure. The stagnant women want to travel. And the closed minded women want you to teach them things. Mel, if you was here right now, you'd be going crazy with us. We know it. Uh oh, here go the bridge. Mel will take. Ladies, let me hear you out there. Hold on, let me hear you. I ain't here. It's fine. <laughs> yeah, we need a mail for this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mel, we got to do this over. This Mel, we amazing. love you. We miss you, Mel. And it's the pitch change right here. Oh. I don't know what Escape talking about. Uh, so, T.I. will call you, bro. He out here, too. She playing with Tiny. Stop. He know. Oh, oh, what? He heard this song. Don't say that. Don't play that nigga white, bro. T.I. heard this. Listen, man, y'all hold it down. We gone, man. Niggas go rubber band, man. You niggas. If you in New York, dress warm. Fact. Bundle up. Also, hey, you bitches better buy some coats this weekend. Give me a little bit. Also, if you out there in LA, be careful. That's a fact. Be careful. Yeah, don't make my next pod depressing. Yeah, we don't. Just, just be careful. That's all we gotta say. Knocks me right off of my feet. Uh, nah, that's my shit right here. Yeah, that's the part right that's there. That's my shit. Yo, when you got a little joint with you, you hit that note. So that I can't stop. So. 
I can hold. Big I Joe. Do, no, don't do that. I don't do that. Tell my nigga. Rosie O'Dell. Rosie O'Dell. Takes over me. All right, we got it. We got it. We got it, buddy. Y'all hold it down, man. Stay with me by my side. I swallow. I'm sorry. Your love is so sweet. It knocks me right off of my feet. Wow. What a record. <laughs> His record is 30 years old. <laughs> She's old. Bruh, fire. I just asked Flip, how old are you? Four. Five. You, you've never heard of Joe Budden? JBP, JBP. Come on, Ish. Where would you be? Ish, put your phone there. Come on. Ish, gonna get fired. <laughs> I wish he signed Scott. And, so and shout out to Mel too, it. nigga. When we shout her out, yeah, man. yo, stop, stop staying stop quiet. Yeah, when I'm it's the high, I got a pizza pie. That's it's morning. New Joe Biden.